Hello. Tanya had to run check on something. She'll be back in a minute. But um, these are the pages. This is where we stopped last week. So this is where we're starting for this week. So um, you can see we both got our little girls on there. And they're fun. And I love the texture with the, having this fabric back here. I wasn't sure how that was going to look once it dried. But I like it. And I don't know if you can see here, but you can still see text through it, um, through that cheesecloth and then the napkin. So I like that too. Hi, Mina. I'm glad you're here. Tanya will be back in just a second. She's out. She had to run and go check on something. So, so we're just showing you how we finished the pages we worked on. We were working on last time. So I've marked what I have left in here to work on. I have this. This spread and this one page and right here I could I have enough things to make some more pockets and then I have one more spread here and that's it I'll be finished so I'm getting close how are you doing today Mina and whoever else is out there lurking that's not in the chat yet <laughs> We're glad you're here too. I can't see um, I can't see how many people are out there. So all I know is Mina's here. Yay, Mina. Yay, Mina. Hello, hello, hello. Um, well, it says there's five people here. So Patricia's here. Oh, hi, Patricia. Celestial Sense. Hello. I'm not sure that you've been in one of our streams before, but we're really glad you're here. Yes, we are. If you'll tell us your name, we'll try to remember you for next time. We'll Hi, Barbara. Try. Hi, Lori. Yeah, try. We're <laughs> I just told him that light was on. He says, the running lights? I said, yes. And he goes, oh, well, I'll check it in a minute. I'm like, it's not the sunshine shining on it, Jeffrey. Seeing how it is storming something fierce here. Oh, uh, we're so, not supposed to get storms till tonight. I think every night this week we have a chance for storms. We got... Uh, inch and a half last night. So wow, that's no, good. Yeah, a little over an inch and a half last night, and no hail here. There were people in town who got um, baseball size hail. So some people really got things messed up. But um, at our house, it was just rain. Um, well, we just had a real bad storm a few minutes Katina. ago. Katina. Celestial is since his name is Katina. Spell it for me, honey. I cannot see it. Okay. K A T I N A H. I'm going to write it down. And just so you all know, I can almost not see the, the computer at all this afternoon. So um, if I miss something, I do apologize greatly for it. I, I I'm going to try to watch the chat, but you know how easy it is for me to get distracted. So I'm going to apologize in advance, too. I'm yep. going to try to keep Tanya up to date. But hi, and Holly. Holly and Holly and Barbara and Katina. If I said that right, that yeah, looks right. Hello, everybody. Um, I have something to show y'all that is not fairy journal related. All right. Well, make yourself big. I'm going to make myself big because otherwise you can't drool as well. Okay. okay well, we want to drool. And Yes, you do want to <coughs> drool. Uh-huh. Okay. Let's put that back there. Um, the other day, Lisa had out her plastic tablecloth. And I, I remembered that I had a plastic tablecloth too and she said she was going to work on dyeing some of her papers oh those are pretty katina thank you oh good i'm glad we're saying it right isn't this just yummy or yummy now this was lighter paper okay that it didn't take the dye as much as this one now these pink ones are Avocado. Avocado. These brown ones are coffee. 
Oh, I didn't change. Oh. Yummy is right. Okay. Well, just a minute. I got to stop that thing. I can, I, even I could see the camera do that. It's little. Thing. <laughs> yeah. And we can't have that. Well, I still haven't figured out what's wrong with my camera and videos. They did an update on June 15th and that's when I started having trouble was trouble. the next day. Oh, so I'm assuming they... it has something to do with that update. Yep. And I don't know if that uh, means my, you know, my camera is too old and won't cooperate with that update or what. I've got a ticket in to Logitech, but they sent me an email and said, check out these links and see if you can self, if you can do it yourself. I'm like, yeah. well, I looked at those links. They have nothing to do with my problem. And I was very detailed. I even sent them links to the streams before I did before and after that one video and the link to that video so they could see the distinct difference. But yeah, they um, didn't, they didn't really read. So no. anyway, um, I put every, what I did was I soaked all the papers. Now this was soaked overnight. Okay. And what happened was, is I got these papers that are lighter, um, too uh -huh. close together. So they didn't suck up as much, uh, avocado. Yeah. Um, the coffee dyed papers I put in the next morning. And of course my coffee is really strong cause that's how Jeff drinks it. And what I do is take the little bits that are left over and put it in a jar in the refrigerator until I'm ready yeah. to use it. And this actually had my splotchy tea dye before I put it in the coffee. But oh, that and these looks were, really good. These were all done outside until the wind picked up. Um, <laughs> and then it blew everything, including all the rocks off the table. And when that happened, I just quit. Um, oh, now you're making me want to get a really big table and try to do it outside. Um, it, it, I, I'll show you the difference in a few minutes of what happens when you come inside. And, and the envelopes suck the dye up better because they're better paper. They're thicker right. paper kind of thing. So, so your coffee soaks into them more. Barbara, she used a tablecloth. Uh, it was a plastic tablecloth. A plastic Tanya? tablecloth. Yes, it was a plastic tablecloth. Um, and I actually, let me see if the piece isn't right here. I have a piece. I cut a chunk of it off to use on my jelly plate. I'm sorry, I ever cut it off to use on my jelly plate, but that's what I use to do this. Oh, I love your tablecloth. Mine is really solid just with some embossed areas. So it uh -huh. probably won't work quite as well as that, but that's, yeah. that's perfect. This, the, and, and I have to tell you, it's coming apart kind of like lace. Where I cut this off was where it was already, some of it was coming apart. So, yeah. you know, it's, it's not going to live forever, but I figured, okay, if it's got spots where it's, um, where it's not as good, then I wouldn't worry about it. Now this happens because the tablecloth didn't lay flat. Yeah. <laughs> Barbara says that's lace plastic. <laughs> yeah. I agree plastic. with her. It's a shock. Hi, and Linda. It's, it's good to old. have you here. It's old too. I got it at a thrift store. I've been watching for them. Now, like I said, though, these where they're lighter like that. Yeah, they were they were too tight in the in the dye bath and they didn't suck up as much juice. You know, so that's that's the difference in these. OK, so that's probably why my bottom papers never turn out as good as my top papers. If I have them stacked too deep. Yeah. Um. What what you need to do is. Put the bottom, put, put some coffee in the bottom, put in a paper. Make sure there is coffee on the top. If you squash it down, whatever, then add another paper. Well, that's squash how it. I do it. Well, and then um, I really fill up the tray with uh, with whatever juice I've got. Yeah. Don't, put well, too probably... don't, don't put too many papers in, too. And the other thing is, is what, what paper it is. Yeah. You know, um... Because now this, I want to show you this. This is really cool. Okay. Can you see this detail? Let me turn this light on for a minute. Hold on. Can you see it right there? No, it looks, 
now I can sort of see it. Okay. Um, the I other is so strong that it's hard to see what's in the background. Well, and that is where my tablecloth is supposed to be solid. Okay. But the center, there's areas of it that's that's like that. Um, okay, Barbara, Barbara says, says, so the process is to soak up the liquid material, then set them out on the plastic tablecloth. Not exactly. Okay. Tanya will tell Not you how exactly. she does it. Let me get down to the bottom here and um, I, I'll go faster. This is my splotchy tea dyed papers with avocado and it was when the t the thing blew off the table so some of it didn't do but i thought that was really cool okay let's see here let me get that's just where i caught the edge of it you know yeah. here's another one of those papers where the the center was on it uh-huh okay i'm not gonna make you look at them all they're pretty but i'm not well they're all them. gorgeous <laughs> yeah um I mean, if the, if the wind had picked up, I'd have kept going. So how many okay. layers did you, is this all just one layer? One layer at a time. It doesn't, if you're outside in this heat and, and the sun is out, you don't have to worry. That's a piece of splotchy tea dyed paper that didn't get dyed with anything else. Okay. Okay. I, well, I have a question for you. Uh -huh. Your tablecloth has a lot of really, has holes in it. Yes, so I can see how the sun could get through and dry it off real quick. My tablecloth's more solid. So I'm thinking the air might not get under there and dry it as quick. I as don't know. Quick. And and that may be the case. So now these. It'll be an interesting experiment. Um, I think. Wait a minute. Okay. Now they're a little bit confused. Um, okay. These. Okay, the the wind started to blow and everything, and this is some really soaked up coffee dyed paper. But you notice that the the design is not as dense, it, it, or is there's not as much contrast. Right. Okay. So while this paper had more coffee in it and soaked up the coffee really good and was really dark colored. Okay, I did these inside. Okay, so. The fact that there wasn't any sun, it dried much slower, um, but it still works inside. It's just that it's not as distinct. As distinct. There, the pattern, you know, it's like, okay, you can barely see it on here. Okay. Um, these were outside. But but you can you can really tell the difference. Um, I think this is the only one of the avocado that I did inside, and see how it's there, but it's not as distinct because even though the air conditioner is on and it dried pretty fast, it didn't dry with as much heat and as quickly as in the sun. Hi, Mimi. Um, Oh, Teresa says that you could use a lighter and lightly touch where you're, where it's coming apart and carterize it back together, maybe. Oh, well. Where you said your tablecloth was coming yeah, apart. Yeah, that might be possible, but I don't know that, I mean, it's starting to disintegrate is the thing. Yeah. And, and that not that it's torn or broken so much as dry rotted because it's plastic. Yeah, um, she wants to know if you think a regular doily would work like that. They do work some. I don't know if they'd work this good. Um, yeah. Well, a cotton work, one probably would. Well, no, because a co cotton one, what's going to happen is it's going to suck up the moisture from the paper. Yes, yes, exactly. And so it's not going to be as strong. Now, all of these cards were soaked like overnight and you can see it's not near as strong because they were done inside. Yeah. Um, now, the copy paper might have done better, but I had more leftovers in the cards. Um, I still did get quite nice design. And while it's just not as strong, it's still there. Um, I also I have these to show, but I'm going to explain my other part first. See here, it's there. Yeah. It's just not as strong because it doesn't dry as fast inside. It just, it's, 
just barely there. And outside, man, they were dry. In, in an hour, they were dry and pretty and crunchy and all that. So it works inside. It just doesn't work as well. So now, uh, in well, answer to some money for nothing, then. <laughs> well, I'll show you in a minute when you get finished. Yeah. Okay. So the, 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 the process is soak the papers. And they really need to soak and have some really good color in them before you start. I mean, this had some really pretty avocado color in it, okay, um, before I ever started. Then I lay, I, I, I have a shower curtain on my table because I didn't want to get this mess all over my table. So I have the shower curtain on the table and I lay, I, I very carefully take the wet paper out and lay it down. And I've got a few corner tears. I'm not worried about that. Then I take my lovely little or big tablecloth <laughs> on the tablecloth and I try to get it as smooth as possible. And that was the thing inside uh this if it's raised up like that is a little bit it is just it doesn't dry as nice but um outside because the sun is on it and the heat was on it i mean it was just like and i got beautiful design now okay teresa has a question okay she says if you soak the cotton in coffee or tea or whatever liquid and then lay it on the dye, the dyed paper that's already dry. Do you think the paper would reabsorb the liquid? I would think so if you left it there, but it all depends on how fast the dot the thing um, uh, the, how fast the dye pulled out of the cotton. There's only one way to find out, Teresa, and that is to try it. Try it. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, yes, I, I think she said, I think that word is intricate. That is so intricate. And yes, it is. And what it is, is it has, okay, so I cut the solid part off. This is a border that's on my tablecloth right in here, down here. It's, it's supposed to be solid. And then there's a center section that has, well, it's got its own pattern. It's got like this little rosette everywhere in the center. Ah, so okay. It it is and it's yeah, there's a lot of holes in it, Lisa. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because so, mine doesn't have the holes, so I don't know if it'll work quite as well. If it's gonna work as well. Now I have one more thing to show you because this happened the other night and, and it was kinda odd. I decided I wanted to dry dye some um index cards. Well, I put my coffee and my avocado trays on the kitchen, on the stove, got papers, filled it up, everything like that. And the ones that were on top, because the air conditioner's running so hard, because it's so hot, the ones that were on top sucked the coffee where they got dry. And I just, I just laid these out to dry because I thought they were just cool as all get out. Um, there, they were just because they were laying on the top of the, of the liquid sort of floating to the top and the liquid just kind of sucked up into the, that one's avocado. Those are really cool. Hi, Nasha. Aren't they, aren't they Hi, pretty? Lisa. I thought they were, they were pretty on their own. And you, yeah, they you are. See, They're real pretty. You can see there's a little difference in how the avocado speckled a little bit, and the coffee just kind of did that. Yeah. It also That's really nice. Lisa said one of those has the shape of Indiana. <laughs> well, maybe I can't see. <laughs> it might. It I'm very well you're trying to think what Indiana is shaped like. <laughs> it's long. It's long and thin. Um, the other thing about leaving it in the cookie sheet overnight with the papers on it 
and see this one was dried inside and I'll bet you it would have been dark if if it had been outside um, is that the air conditioner dehydrated the coffee and the avocado mixture took out some of the waters and um, and therefore they're more concentrated so they're darker color now if I put a new batch of paper in they're darker the very first one she says I think oh there it is yep it does look like Indiana yeah that's cool <laughs> so let me see I want to see your tablecloth oh well this is a different tablecloth um, I'll show you the other one well, let me show you the plastic one first. If I can okay. remember. Oh. Where did I put it? See, I tried to straighten some stuff up. Uh -huh. <laughs> that, that was a waste of time, wasn't it? It's a mistake. It's always a mistake. Yeah, it's always a mistake. I've got these boxes sitting here that I'm trying to see. Oh, there it is. Okay. I thought I was right. It was in one of these boxes. <laughs> Would you please read Katina's um, comment when you come back? Yeah. Yeah. Guys, I'm going to tell you that this morning's eye surgery is really weird. My eye does not want to. Um... She says, I can't wait to see how you use those papers. Oh, okay. I, I think they're going to have to have their own journal. Yeah, I think that would be good. Okay. <laughs> see, mine is like this. Oh, see, it's not got as much open. Huh, it doesn't have anything open, really. It's got, well, no. Okay, I'm going to tell you, it, it's going to do... It may not do as much, but it's going to do something. Yeah. It's like it's embossed on one side. Uh-huh. Um, you can feel it on the other side a little bit, but it's more on one side. Yeah. I think it'll be a pretty pattern if I can get and, it to make contact with the paper long enough. Right. And outside in the sun, it ought to work. Yeah. Now, the center, I mean, there... I haven't taken this apart. Can you tell? Uh huh. <laughs> it's it's got this plain, you know, stuff in the center. Um, oh, it says "Made in Taiwan" right there. Take that off. Okay. Um, I thought there was something in the center of the center, but getting to that is not going to be easy. Yeah, yeah there is. Yours is, yours is still new and sticky. <laughs> yeah, it's still new and sticky. Okay. If, if anybody has come in and I, and I can't seem to say hello, 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 we're glad you're really, really glad you're here. I just cannot read chat at all today. It's just gone. I so also had the, to turn off some lights. Oh, that's the center? Yeah. Well, there's a center center that is plain and then there's a ring around the center center that looks like this okay that is a huge and then there's a plain box. ring between that and the edge so it's got like a bunch of stuff <laughs> yeah if it works it's going to be fabulous yeah i hope it'll work but what i was going to show you was i went when i got those books at the thrift store uh-huh they also had some linens half price okay and so I got a few um, napkins, mm -hmm. linen napkins. And these, there are four of them. Well, it said there were four, but I only see three. <laughs> well, anyway, I got three. Uh -huh. <laughs> I thought there were four. Of these for a half of 57 cents, because 57 cents is what it said on them. Ah. And I got this one for half of 99 cents. Isn't that pretty? That's beautiful. And then there were two of these. So I got those for for half of 99 cents. Um, 
and they're linen as well. And this one was 99 cents. So basically I got stuff for 50 cents or, or less, I think yeah. most of it. And there were a couple of these. Those are I don't know what kind of fabric this is. Stuff. But, um, and then this is just, just a linen napkin. It's nothing special, but it was half a 39 cents. So I got it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I got this tablecloth for half of three ninety nine. Um, let's see. Anyway, I was thinking about using this the same way, but I wasn't thinking about it soaking up. Yeah. Um, I have, you know, that yellow lace. Uh-huh. Um, that, that several of you have pieces of, I have more of that and it is polyester. And I uh -huh. thought that might work where, yeah. you know, if I can keep it down against the, the papers, that's the big yeah. thing is keeping it down. I'm not sure what this is. It feels like cotton, but it's surely not completely cotton. Yeah. Oh, Sherry's here. Sherry says, today has been a rough day. We were woke up at 6 a.m. by the construction crew digging up the street to put in the sewer for the house they built next door. Oh, dear. She also seems to have a seasonal cold. I'm sorry, Sherry. I hope you'll well, feel better soon and get some sleep tonight. <laughs> and I think I saw Lisa, but I'm not sure. Yes, Lisa. I'm sorry. I said that earlier, but. Okay. I missed, I'm, I missed you yeah, saying Yeah, Lisa, Lisa is here. And um, Teresa, Holly, and Sherry, and Barbara. And um, Katina, and let's see, Mindy, Nashua. Trying to see if there's anybody else that I've missed. Okay. I think Barbara's saying something about a question. Okay. Third let down me go bottom. down. All right. Here's a question. I have an old lace curtain, probably polyester. Wonder if I could coat it with gel medium and use it the same way. I have no idea, Barbara. But if it's probably polyester, why don't you put it out on the table and with just one piece of paper and see if you even need to coat it. That's the thing is that, you know, I wouldn't go through the trouble of trying to coat it until I saw if it would work without it, especially if yeah. you don't care if you get some coffee on it. Anyway, um, I thought if this doesn't work, I might just try to dye it and use it. Yeah, you know, yeah. Put, or on the jelly plate, obviously. Yeah, and see, that's that's why I, I had gotten that other one. Um, Katina, I I had a little laser surgery this morning, and the biggest problem is is that they dilate it so bad that I didn't have any iris left. All I have is pupil, and I I've had to turn the lights off, and I can't see. Oh. Uh. I hope it gets better fast. Oh, uh, it, it'll be better tomorrow. I mean, I'm supposed to be able to drive myself to the, the eye doctor tomorrow. That's that's what they expect. But this okay, is the well, good. This, this is the eye that was um, where the cataract was so deep. And he did a lot of zapping. I was actually in the laser room um, and he was working on it for almost 10 minutes. He had to stop and let me, he had to take the thingy out and let me blink my eye a couple of times. And then he put it all back together and did it again. So it took a while this morning and she really dumped um, those drops in it. And if you guys can't see, I brought my sunglasses so I can turn the light back on. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> That's what I thought. Okay, here's an order from Barbara. Are you listening, Tanya? Uh, I'm listening. She says, don't strain your eyes, Tanya. That's an order. Let Lisa read the chat to you. <laughs> okay. Well, just so you all know that if Lisa misses it, you got to retype it so that I can. That's right. Give me, a, give me some chances. <laughs> yeah. um, 
I, Lisa and I are both kind of in the same boat. We got odds and ends of pages in our books. Uh, I mean, I've got a double page spread right there, you know, and uh, I did finish up this pocket. I went ahead and glued everything down that I had showed y'all. I finished up my lady in her niche, but I have this page to put something. I guess I could leave it like that, but it just kind of looks a little lonely like that so it looks lonely thought, yeah i thought i'd see if i can find some words or something to put in there yeah then i got this half a page you know that i tipped in so that i would have this right so i got that you know and lisa's kind of got the same thing guys so I don't know if that will work in StreamYard or not, though, Mitzi. She says, isn't there somewhere where you can enlarge the print on the computer? Yeah, it works on a standard. Um, okay. Let's see. If I get my head in the way, y'all won't. We won't care. Yeah, I know you won't. Um, <laughs> I don't think I can in here. Now, I think Janice and Shelly and Janet all just came in. Unless Janet was here before. No, Janet just came in. Hi, Janet. We're glad you're here. Hi, Shelly. And Janice, see, you can sort of see. You just don't need to strain your eyes, though. Yeah, I can I can see their names. They're kind of blurry, but I cannot. The other is too light. And I've pulled okay. it as close as I can get it. So so if you see somebody, and then tell me and I'll I'll read it. It just if you see it and I don't. Okay. Sounds like a plan, guys. Now, I have already decided, and I didn't get this cut out ahead of time, but I am going to um, put a couple of little um, wallpaper pieces on this half page. And, um, to f and a fairy to finish it off. That's my plan. Of course, well, best I got like these. Uh, I don't know if they're really supposed to be fairies or angels, but I'm going to use it in this book as a fairy. Um, you know what? I almost thought they might be supposed to be mermaids. Well, isn't that the ones you had last night? Yeah. Well, they have wings, so they might be yeah. winged mermaids. Yeah, that would make them winged. I mean, I think they're they're good fairies, angels, or mermaids. I think you could use them for all three. They well, are multi. I have several, so <laughs> this one's going to be a fairy. There we go. See. I haven't decided what I'm going to put with her. Probably some wallpaper flowers. Because I have you know, one those cut out. I love this book, but I'll be glad when it's done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's been a lot of fun, but I'm, I'm kind of uh, ready to be through. Yep. Mm -hmm. I am, I am. I was showing it to my sister. And she says, well, what are you going to do with it when you get finished? <laughs> I said, I don't know, put it on a shelf. <laughs> it's like, well, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I have a shelf. That's right. I have a shelf. Yeah. Doing it was the, the biggest pleasure for me is making it. Oh, yeah. So, well, I just thought that was so funny. Well, what are you going to do with it? Uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> now, this last weekend wasn't when your whole family came up, was it? No, they're coming July 4th. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
but she and I did a Zoom so we could visit. So ah, okay. And that I was need, fun. I need to call my sister in New York. I haven't talked to her in a, in a few weeks. When they got things sorted out with school, she got real busy again. So yeah. And of course, she she has a son at home, so not only is she teacher for all the, you know, she's a TA kind of. Right. Um, she's not an actual teacher. She's a, an assistant. And so when they got things figured out for school, she got real busy again. But she also has a kidlet at home that has, she. I'm sure she was busy with too. Yeah. I really want to use this one. <laughs> but it's so huge. And it is kind of big. Maybe like that. I would only have to take off a little bit. Let's try that. And then we will re-ink it here. I think Teresa said something to us both. Okay. Because you both. You both have put in so much detail. It's no wonder you're ready for it to be finished. <laughs> she says, if you have a favorite child that would love it, it would be great to be able to pass it down to them. Barbara says, I've got six more pages to complete in my second signature. Right now, that's a little daunting. <laughs> Tanya Woodward just came in. Hi, Tanya. We're glad you're here. Yes, we are. We're glad everybody's here. I think my husband just came in too. He must have decided that being outside in the pouring rain was just not. His ears are probably, without uh, a doubt, very tired. Uh, he was in, out of there and out there in the storm, and that metal roofed building is—it's like being in um, standing right next to the fireworks as they all go off. Oh goodness, yes, I have—I've been in one of those. <laughs> Yeah, he has he has uh, you know like shooters headphones that he puts over his ears, and he's got the little squashy ones that they give him give you on the flight line at the base, but it's still loud. So, but one of the old desks he picked up last weekend, I think um it was or last week sometime uh he um is starting to refinish so he's been taking the paint that's on it and it must have like five layers of paint on it um off and he had some stripper on it and that you know he puts it on and leaves it overnight and he said i kind of yeah. have to go out and take it off of there so. Teresa says, I think of my great grandchildren when I see these books. My oldest will be three next month. Oh, how fun. Yeah. We would probably both think more along those lines if we even had grandchildren. That, <laughs> that's, <don't>. true. <laughs> that's true. I don't think I ever will have any, but that's, you know, fine. It's, it's probably just as well. <laughs> Probably just as well. Yeah, I think I I think I'm liking this. This ought to be good. <laughs> now I need to find a fairy. And Janet says that Thursday will be at noon. Yes, remember guys, we switched it around. Okay. Where are my fairies? I cleaned my box up a little bit so as to not have stuff everywhere. Well, I think I kind of like that. She can be behind it, but still be. Oh, that's pretty. Yes. Still mm -hmm. show up. Maybe add that. What do you think? To add this or not? Take it away. 
I like it without, but that's me. I think I might pull. Is your other flower got a straight side on its leaf that you can't pull it away from the center? Well, this to. one does, yeah. Okay, so it kind of has to go over there. In that case, I would tuck my fairy under it just a little further. Personally, yeah. But I think the other flower just makes it kind of filled up. If that Maybe I could sense. find a butterfly to put here. Yes, that would be good. Okay, that's what I'll do. And I'll use this. Other, I'm going to use this flower, but I'll do it on a different page with a different fairy. It just didn't work with her right here because it's huge and she's huge and they were fighting. Okay. Okay. Did Tanya ask a question? Uh, can I ask anyone a silly question? I am making playing cards for like pick 12 items and a house cleaning packs and a house cleaning pack. Problem is they're so sticky with white gesso and peeling off. Any ideas to help? Sand them. Yeah. Sand them. That's um, especially playing cards. Playing cards are, are designed to last for, you know, longer. So they have a real plastic coating on them. So um, game cards and playing cards, you, you almost have to sand. So that would be my suggestion. Yeah, that was going to be my suggestion. Let's see if anybody else has any other ideas. But. Okay, I might use two fairies on that page if I can find my water brush. Ooh. <sighs> Clean up, can't find a thing. Leave it a mess, can't find a thing. <laughs> she just can't find anything no matter what no it's i'm just, glad to know it's not just me oh sorry tanya she says okay i just did about 15 so i got new cards <laughs> yeah <laughs> I would just start over uh-huh yep yeah sorry about that now but, uh, we've all been there and done that before yeah um if it had been mod podged Mod Podge will stick to plastic, believe it or not, but not real well. But then it's sticky, so, you know, you got all these different options, but sanding is the, what I would do. Okay. I know I just laid that thing down. There it is. Jeez. It's going to be like that today, I guess. <laughs> I'm just going to be like that. Oh, that's going to be cute. That's what I'm going to do, but I think I better ink the edges first. First, first, first. Because, you know, <clears throat> we're, we're supposed to be inking it everywhere. That's right, we're supposed, everywhere. We're supposed to remember that. <laughs> Doesn't mean I do. Yeah, well, I forget to. And I thought I, I didn't I didn't think that I, I should have told you I didn't like the furniture pads. I I just find they don't suck up enough ink and they're just too stiff. If you ask me. Well, that's exactly how I felt when I when I tried them. Now, if you have like stiff cardboard. And you're just going around the edges. Mm-hmm. It might be fine, but but it still sucks up a lot of ink. Of course, once it, you know, those little ones, the little sponge ones, 
they suck up a lot of ink at first too. Yeah. But once you get them kind of saturated, then it, you know, it's easier. But anyway. Okay. I need to find some butterflies. And I know I have some. Oh, I want to put these back in their pocket. Um, I, you know, I don't think mine are in their pocket. Hmm. I don't remember seeing those in the tub. wonder what I did with them. I'll find them six months from now in the bottom of the pile that's over here to my... Um, oops, to my left. I'm trying to remember where where that pocket is. <laughs> In the front, towards the front. Mm -hmm. At least I think so. That's where we made the first one. Because isn't that, aren't they in the top? Yeah, these moment? go don't go in the first one. These go in the one I did from the top. Yeah, you're right. Um, so I'm not sure. All right, I'm just going to go through and find them because I don't okay. want to forget to put them in there. Well, I have my books out of here oh, right, right now. There were just too much. There was too much going on in there, so I just took them out. Okay. When I was trying to put my lady in, my book was so fat over here that the lady wouldn't, um, I couldn't hold the lady down. something when your books get so fat you can't put stuff in it yeah all right now i'm having trouble finding the one i'm working on there it is okay <laughs> thank you mindy I can see little thumbs. <laughs> Tanya says she wants to thank whoever had the KC Doodle coloring book. That must be your you. Mm. She got hers yesterday. The fairy book? Was that a KC Doodle? I no. don't know. Look. Yes, it is. Casey Doodle Art Fairies. Yeah. She says, I'm going to add removed coloring pages in between my collage pages in the book. Oh, that'll be cool. Mm hmm. <laughs> Very cool. Very, very, very cool. Okay, so we're going to put that one up there. We're going to put these fairies. Okay, we got to put them on the paper correctly so that she sits on, a, on it instead of um, incorrectly where she... Okay, let's see here. He must have decided he was hungry. Okay, that goes right there. And that goes right there. Okay. Well, I know I have those butterflies. Can't figure out what I did with them. Well, of course, I found it after the the coloring book is pretty much all, or the fairy book is pretty much all done. But that's okay. Like yeah. I told Lisa, we're going to have an awful lot of fairies left in the in the Cecil Barker, Mary Barker. Yes, we are. We are. So, plenty to use in a different project.
Okay. 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 All right. I've got some of these that Tanya sent me. Let's see if I can find one that I really want to put in here. I could do that dragonfly. That one will go pretty good. That's Does Tanya say she came to us from the coloring world? Is that what she says? I came to you all from the coloring world. I also got the great book of fairy patterns. Ah, okay. Well, Dee Dee does a lot of coloring. In all honesty, she colors quite a bit. Yeah, she does. And um, Tanya, did, uh, did I meet you in... Um, oh... Now I can't think of her name, but coloring, um, oh, that's frustrating. I'm subscribed to her, but I haven't actually seen any, um, videos coming from her lately. I, I'm sorry. I can't think of who it was I was trying to say. Well, and you know, I am subscribed to a few different co people who color and I can't tell you that I've seen their videos lately either. So I wonder if they're not showing up in our feed. That could be. We don't watch them as much or something like that, you know, because that's what happens on Facebook. That's true. If you, yeah. If you, if you don't go to their channel all the time, a lot of times you lose, they'll be, you'll be subscribed. No, I don't think it was Sammy. Um, I think I would. Okay. I'm sorry. There is so I'm going to go look. Okay. <laughs> go look. Because, I'm going to go you know, look. Look through my subscriptions and find her because I really enjoyed it, watching her for quite a while, but I got so busy doing my own stuff that I haven't had a chance to watch much anymore. I was going to say, I, I, I don't get to watch videos a whole lot. And then, of course, I sat down to watch you, you last night and um, got interrupted like three times. Which is okay. You know, that's just the way it is. It's just life, yeah. Yeah. And you're right. I'd rather, I'd rather talk to my kiddo than watch you. I have so yes. many. It's so hateful to say that, but I no, it's not hateful at all. I I would want you to feel exactly like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I know I, I I'm subscribed to a lot of people, but right now I'm still not finding her on my subscription on your subscription list. Wow, maybe she got unsubscribed. Sometimes YouTube unsubscribes me from people. Yep, and that's very. Ang it makes me angry, <laughs> but Teresa says she is. If if I read this right, she's not getting sub uh, notifications from either of us either. So you may have to go and turn your notifications off and turn them back on. I've had to do that with people. Mm -hmm. I would look and say, and I would yes, I would still be subscribed, but. Um, so I don't know. But not getting it, not getting the notice. There it is. Becky's color escape. B E C C I Becky. Was it her? Yeah. <laughs> and I I have watched her too. So um Okay, I'm happy. Uh there was a lot of drama in those groups, so you moved. Oh, well, yeah, you don't need the drama. Mm -hmm. um, but she was, okay, well, I I haven't watched her in a long time, but um, but I thought that's where I knew you from. But we're glad you're here with us. We're, we try to be drama-free. And 
as much as possible. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like there's some drama I don't want, but <laughs> yeah, I know there's a lot of it. Uh huh. Um, that came out. I'm pleased. I'm very pleased with that. Came out real cute, and it sort of goes with the other page, and yeah. it's not too bad with this page. That's another thing I had had to think about. It has to be sort of okay with this page. I mean, it's all going to be six of one half dozen of another anyways, but okay. However, it's still a little sticky. So let's turn it to this page and I got to find something to go on there. Something, something. Okay, I'm going to have to draw this guy's antenna because I'm not trying to cut, fussy cut those out. Oh, no, that would not be fun. <laughs> and we want fun. Yes. We, want fun. <laughs> uh, we, we can't have, you know. Okay. okay. I might do that. I have some poems. Oh, I do too. And I have put like one on something. I printed all those off that, you know, you showed me the link to where to go get them. Uh-huh. Well, but I also have poems that I cut out of the things when I, and I don't know where their fairies are. So I could just, uh, I could just. Put That's okay, like, Tanya. Uh, you can't have too many hobbies. I'm sorry. It, it feels weird to to talk to Tanya and it not be you. <laughs> well, there's, there's two Tanyas in chat today. I know. So that's you know. Tanya W. Let's put. I'll, I'll need to start doing that. Um, we're glad you have another hobby. I have way too many hobbies. That's that's my problem. I can't. I don't have time to do all my hobbies. I haven't been doing any spinning or weaving lately. Of course, my, with my shoulder, that kind of took away from that for a while. Yeah. Uh, and I had just kind of gotten my back good enough I could, to get back into it. So that's kind of frustrating. Okay. Hi, Melissa. I'm thinking that... Okay, I'm going to... I'm just thinking I might put just a couple of these little poems in here. Yeah, they don't even, even have to have the. They don't. That that particular fairy is not here, but that's okay. And um, I think I am going to stencil one of these little fairies on that page just to add a little bit of background up there. And then put those on like that. But they do need to have some. Um, some inky inky. Inky inky. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I Tanya, I need to ask you. I can't. We talked back and forth, back and forth about whether I was supposed to send you some of those little clamps or not and i can't remember what we finally decided i have to i may not use them i may use something a little different i have not decided but i have some okay uh, i ha i haven't totally decided that that's what i want to do um i did pick up some chain some chain that would be better for a closure um so because i don't most of the chain i have is pretty fine because of the type of jewelry i made with it right um, what i've got is just stuff from jewelry that i um got at thrift stores and took apart uh -huh. <laughs> that's the kind of chain i have so well um the the i've got ball chain you know um the kind like fan poles are made out of. Oh yeah. 
Happy Scrappy 45. LaTanya, we're glad you're here. We did. We needed another Tanya, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> At least this one's La Tanya. That's easier. Yes, it <laughs> but is. We're glad you're here. And she's not on my list. Oh, well, Happy Scrappy 45 is La Tanya. Okay. L.A. and then exactly the way you spell your name. Okay. We have to I think I'm going to add both of these. The dragonfly and the butterfly. Oh, that would be cool. But do you want to put the butterfly up higher? I don't know. I thought about it and stuck it up there a minute ago. And I'll try it again in a minute. You see, we have a list. <laughs> we have a list, yeah. I we try to write things list. down or we never will remember. After three or four times, I usually start to remember. Yeah. I won't guarantee anything. <laughs> I do still go look at my list sometimes just to make sure I'm right <laughs> before I say anything. <laughs> yeah, um, me too, because I certainly can make a boo-boo. Okay, I think that's what I'm going to so do. Are you thinking like when you said higher, like here or like up here? I don't know that I like it up there. I don't think I do either. Because. Mm -hmm. I think maybe it needs to go over here because it will show up better with the leaves than the pink one does over there. Yeah, I think I like that a little better. Of course, it, it, they're kind of like little blobs. <laughs> like what? <laughs> like little blobs. <laughs> <laughs> I for, yeah, I forget your eyes aren't helping you out any today. <laughs> Oh, LaTanya says she's making three junk journals, a baby boy, a baby girl, and a gratitude journal. Very cool. Very cool. Um, the, the thing of it is that I'm just kind of looking at the positions and the color of them. I, if I had to tell you what was a butterfly and what was a dragonfly, the fact that one has a long skinny tail from the looks of it is all I can tell you. <laughs> well, I think I'm going to do them like this. Teresa says she found her six inch ruler. She oh, forgot good. she had her dad's tools and he was a plumber. So he had a six inch ruler. So, aha. Okay. Oh, are you? What is that? That is not a good one. That's for sure. Where did that get on top? I don't know. I didn't no, I do it. No, you did not do it. <laughs> it's not my fault. Not, it's not my fault. I have done it. I have two stays on ink pads. I have one. I have inked over and over and over again, and it still does not want to give me any ink. I have the other one that is... Well, I have more than two, but I'm talking about black ones. Um, right. I have the other one that I have inked and I use all the time. It seems to be fine. I've actually tore it up. Look at the edges of this poor thing. Oh. <laughs> well, because I use it on my scrappy books and I just take the edge of it and go on the scrappy books and they're hard and scratchy. But the other one, I just, this doesn't seem to matter how much ink I put on it. It doesn't give me ink <laughs> Why have ink? So maybe it wants to get fired. I think it's it wants to go in the garbage can, which is you know very very rude and disrespectful as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> because I think you should be used over and over again. I do too. You should you should live as long as I do. <laughs> uh -huh, that's right. There we go. She's she's pretty. Purdy. Very good. Teresa says she has other tools also. And she had said she would send some to someone, but she doesn't remember who. So that's okay. <laughs> they probably are really supposed to be with you anyway. 
That's right. My dad's portrait. We're in such bad these shape. two rulers that were my dad's. And so I have them out here with me all the time. Little piece of my dad out here. One of them even has his name on it. Right there. Bernie Mullins. Cool. That is really cool. It is. It's nice to have. Okay. okay. That's what we're going to do right there. You know, I didn't ink those pages when I finished. Hmm. I will have to do yep. that. Hmm. Okay. I'm a, I've got these two. And I've got these. Oh. One over here. Okay. I love that. Um, how you put the uh, notepad in these, the pocket. I do too. That makes me very, those make me really happy. For uh -huh. those of you who haven't seen them, I just made some little notepads with some of my marbled and dyed papers and, and then just let them sit in there like that. So that was fun. All right. I'm going to work on this page. I think I don't know what I'm going to do, but um, I'm going to ink first. Well, I think. <laughs> Ink while, while I think. think. Okay. And you ink and think at the same time. Thanks, Teresa. Thanks, Tanya. Thanks, Janet. Oh, she said she had doubles of some of those tools, and that's why she was going to send, send send the some. doubles. Mm -hmm. Well, if that person really wants them, maybe they'll remind you who they are. Mm-hmm. I got um, some tools that were my my dad's and my granddad's from both sides of the family. And um, so the kids each have a toolbox with some tools. And Darren uses some of their, those tools. And my brother got some of the tools. And my uncles all got some of the tools. I mean, my granddad's both had like tons of tools. <laughs> and my dad had his own. So even though my one of my granddad's lived here with us, so they had double tools for everything. So there were plenty of tools to go around when, when my dad passed on every, and when my grandpa, my uh, mom's dad, my dad's dad passed away when I was about 10 years old. So everything he had just w became my dad's since he was the only child. But there were a lot of tools in that garage when we went to <laughs> clean it out. <laughs> out. Yeah. And it's, I think it says the marbled papers are so delicate. I'm trying to think of how to use them. Um, oh, I'm hoping they're going to make pages in this, this uh, pretty book that we're going to, that I'm going to make. Um, yeah. I think, I, um, I think they will I, be fun. I make some out of thicker paper. Uh -huh. and they're not as delicate as the plain old 20 pound copy paper. So I think if I do marble pages anymore, I'll do them out of a better quality paper, paper for that reason. But I still think that you can use them as pages in your in a journal like you would use, um, you know, any other kind of delicate papers. Right. I don't Just think that I'm careful. going to put, I'm not going to put pockets and stuff on them to to uh, for, because I don't want to put the stress from the pocket. Right. Nothing that weighs them down too much. Yeah, but I think they'll be fine. Um, my dad <laughs> didn't take care of his tools, so, um, and of course what he had is, you know, I Je Jeff and I pretty much brought over here, but he just, everything he had towards the end of his life, especially, um, ended up rusted because he didn't take care of them oh that uh, came out, yeah that came out really good i like how that looks that looks pretty i like it yeah. janna says every page has holes in it mine don't um a few of them do yeah but most of them don't maybe you scrunched them up too much i don't know um, oh, let me get out a couple of mine and 
All right, now we got to figure out what page is next. I just grabbed some that I know were not the heavier duty paper, but um, but most of mine don't have any holes in them. And if they do, it's where I, when I was unfolding them, I ripped it. Oh, that's a heavier duty paper. Okay, here's the difference. This is a heavier duty paper. This is the regular old copy paper. That one does have a little rip right there. But um, I think that's what I like about them. Yeah. But I think you can use them. But you did, you did... Janet, you did them twice, didn't you? Um, do them and then do them again, and that might have just been too much, maybe. I don't know. They are more delicate than the paper was before you did this to them, but um, but I think they'll stand up pretty good. But these sturdier papers, they won't iron out as nicely, but they're definitely sturdier. Janet said something to. I think Lisa and then hi Debbie. Glad I'm sorry, to see what'd you me. say? Janet said something. I, she said, I think I got them too wet. Uh huh. And she said, Yeah, she thinks they got too wet in the creases. Um but I just dipped mine in whatever it was, the coffee or the um this one was avocado. I just mm -hmm. dipped it in it and then pulled it out and wadded it up and set it aside. Um, and then I came back later and added the, the marbling stuff to them. But try it again without maybe not crumpling them quite as much and see if, see if that helps. I don't know. I would think I want to use another napkin. Okay. I have this two page right here that needs to have something. And I have a belly band because we made a belly band and I never put it on anywhere. So we're going to think about that. Ah, Debbie has an idea. Hi, Debbie. We're glad you're here. She says, can you lightly spray with the starch water and iron flat on a hard surface? I wouldn't use starch water. I would use sizing. Sizing. Mm -hmm. There's a big difference and bugs don't like sizing like they like starch. Oh, well, that's that's important to know. Um. When you're trying to work with a slippery fabric or um, not only that, starch tends to sit on the top. It sit, does it on it would do it on paper. It would do it on fabric. It sits on the top. And so yeah. sizing, and you can buy liquid sizing that you could put in a spray bottle instead of an aerosol can. Um, but sizing tends to sink into the fiber more. And like I said, bugs don't like it as much. So, that's an important yeah. important aspect <laughs> especially when you live in the south yeah uh, that's one of those things that but we like, have bugs yes and um i learned about sizing when i was doing so much uh quilting because sizing works way better on fabric than um than starch does. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. That's a that's a deep subject. What's going on? Well, I was thinking about putting this napkin right on like this. Just a minute. I'm not, I'm turning around. The that's other fine. Door. I was trying to find something. It's run off and, and left home. I guess. What is it you're looking for? What are my coloring pages? That okay? I'll pour it in a minute. Show me. 
oh, I was just thinking about doing this, but it um, comes off the top and the bottom. And I was trying to decide if I should kind of do this so that the circles go all the, you know. Uh-huh. Or, or if I should just let it come off. Bring it down some and and make it kind of like um can you bring it down even a little bit more like an arch like an arch yes dandy yeah. see this is why we craft with friends i just i think an arch would be nice and then you then whenever yeah whatever, mm -hmm. i do too okay an arch it is and you can have tiny bits of the flowers at the bottom because your fairies need something to stand on oh that's true you know, you just don't want much of the flowers at the bottom. Okay. Okay, Janet is saying something to you, though. She says, Lisa, Lisa, cut it in half, hamburger cut, and overlap it in the middle. Which she was thinking just, just pretty much like I was. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, you know, however you want. That would be... I think I kind of like the arch idea because I want to put some of these little birds on it too. On it too. And um, those are cute. There's that leaves room to do that. Mm hmm. The only yeah. problem is then, um, no, I'll figure out how, how, where my fairies go later. <laughs> One step at a time. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you've got enough different kinds of fairies that, that you should be able to I'll figure something that'll fit. Yeah. Well Hi, Joyce. Do you, do you, I'm sure you have some more chipboard fairies. I do, yeah. And and they'll be they'll stand out enough and can go. Okay. Hello Joyce. Okay, so I'm going to turn around again and find my coloring page. I don't know what I did with that. Okay. I wonder if it's over by my table because I was going to color on it some more. And I never did, which is, you know, bad girl thing. Yep, might have been. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, that's okay. We've got lots of other stuff. No, it's right here. <laughs> right here. Right here. Waiting to be colored. No, waiting to get cut out. Um, I sort of felt like, um, remember I was going to cut out uh, and not color all of this? Yeah. So that's what I'm going to do. I just hadn't, I hadn't cut him out yet because I didn't know where I was going to use him. And I think I'm going to put him there and put the um, belly band over here. Which I might as well glue that down and... Put some ink it, glue it down, and put some clamps on it while I'm cutting the other piece out. That's probably a good idea. I haven't seen Barbara in chat lately. I wonder if she's actually she was not not feeling her um fairy book I think who's working on their fairy book today is Barbara out there working on hers <laughs> we want to know well, yes inquiring minds want to know <laughs> that's exactly what I thought but I didn't say <laughs> uh, yep 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 gotta say it uh-huh Okay, that ought to be fine, but we got to ink up this page because, boy, is it sad looking all white. Okay. 
And I'm just making another spot where I need some tags. So tags, tags, tags. You have to make tags on Thursday. <laughs> mm. Or between now and then. <laughs> yeah, because I still have some pages to finish. So yeah, I do too. I do need a few tags, but um I was thinking about making more pockets and I think I've just decided not to because I don't need to make myself need even more tags. When you know, I already the thing, the thing of it is it's making more pockets takes up pages. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Except I only have one place that has that extra page in the middle. Uh-huh. Everything else is just spreads. So Okay. She's Barbara came in and says Keeping gluey fingers off the keyboard, she says. Okay. Uh -huh. She's not gluing, she's gluing like She says, mad. no, 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 gluing like mad. So she's not gone. She's just gluing. And she's gluing napkins. Yeah. She says she had to order toner cartridges for her HP printer, and she needs to go pick them up before she can print off the other five fairy images from the book. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like it like that, Lisa. It looks like, it looks like a little tunnel. Yeah, I do too. I'm thinking I might want like some green ink. Uh-huh. To kind of make it look like it goes back. Mm-hmm. You know what? You probably could use one of those pieces from Heather that um, as oh. a... Oh, yes. To protect... Yes, yes. There's the idea. I've been needing to do that anyway. Well, you might not want to leave it on there, but I, I, I think it would protect the um the napkin if you Ooh. used it's a shame that's right in the middle because this well I could cut it in half, I guess, if I needed to. Yeah. And then it would be dark, but would your fairies show up on it? That's the that would be the issue. Yeah, that's the issue. Okay. Oh, what does she say? I'm gluing napkins and inking backgrounds on the six pages. Trying to keep from being <laughs> confused about what faces what. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. yep, yep. Oh, that's, that's pretty in there. Do you think it's too orange? Well, I mean, the, there's not. A, well, there is a little bit of orange in it the. It doesn't um, look so on camera, but you know, on camera is. Yeah, it looks like it matches better on camera than it really does. Uh huh. Okay, let's see. And I was. Oh, no, that's pretty in there. And then if you put some green ink right in the center. Yeah, that would be pretty. I was just thinking about using it as a stencil and going over it with the ink. Oh, that would be even prettier. But I think I want to use the orange one because I'm not as likely to use the orange one. <laughs> well, as I am a black one. The thing of it is, is all you have to do is turn it over. If you ink the black one, oh, you have an orange one just like it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, because when you after you ink it, you just turn it over to use it on the other side. That's true. That would work. And I can do that with the orange one if I decide I want to. Okay. If I decide Debbie's I want to. say something out loud. What about... Is that creating... Create a little path in the circle. That it goes back in the circle is what she's saying. Like a little inked path or a little um a little pencil path that goes back yeah i think i'm gonna ink this with the green and then i might can put a path in it Mm-hmm. yep just with a pencil or something yeah that's a good idea mm -hmm. thank you do you have one of the smaller circles um i do not know if i have any smaller circles left it doesn't look like it. Let me see. I have these centers. 
which are not quite the same as the smaller circle, but it's what was punched out of right here. Hello, Cheryl. Debbie. Barbara's asking Debbie. Hi, Cheryl. Move, move forth, Fort Worth. Ah, okay. She's asking Debbie if she's from Fort Worth. Ah, okay. And Deborah Brown is here. Hello. Hi, Deborah. We're glad you're here. We're glad you're all here. But yeah, we are. Okay. So now I don't know why I didn't go ahead and ink this page because you know I'm going to ink this page. Teresa said she's not making a fair book because she's been helping us. That's right. True. You've been a good help, Teresa. That's Look right. at this. Hannah just, she ordered this with some of her graduation money. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. What What is the title? It's It says more, but it's Thomas Moore's Poetical Works. Um, huh. J.T. Dodge, January 1st, 1894. Oh, wow. Thank you Thomas More, the Irish poet, not Thomas More, the guy who wrote Utopia. Yeah. There are two. This is the, the good one. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't read it either, but anyway, he's an Irish poet that it's really hard to find his books. They do not have any modern and look at version. The of the front and back hinges. Yeah. It's in such lovely shape. So you can actually sit and read this one. Yeah. Which is what she was hoping for. So mm -hmm. yay. <laughs> Such a lovely book. They did Art Deco before Art Deco was a thing, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> did you hear what she said? She did Art Deco before Art Deco was a thing. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> it's really pretty. I'm glad you got it in safely. Okay. She can go um, read with glee now. <laughs> She uh, loves her she, old poets. <laughs> well, and she loves old books, which is even even. She does, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do some inky inky here, and then we'll see what we want to do after that. Okay. Uh, well, we we're, we're having fun having you here, Teresa. So I haven't considered anything you've doing bothering and you sent us what butterflies and so you have definitely been helping this is it's hard to hold this on an angle <laughs> Since I'm not going to color a whole all of this, just goes. Um, I can consider that fussy cut. <laughs> sure. Yeah. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I meant to do some of this before, you know, this last week, but oh well, it didn't get done. Yeah, so. Debbie, it will be a book for her to treasure. She. She's um. She's definitely a romantic in the true sense of the word. <laughs> Woo. Did you get it done? No. <laughs> I'm having to really hold it down. I may be holding harder than I need to, but it's. 
Well, you don't want to move too much. No, you don't. And it didn't quite get inky, inky. Some specific spot, huh? Yeah. I'm just glad I could see the cut. <laughs> I'm glad you can, too. <laughs> okay, I think I like that. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I think that looks... That added, it just added to the center. Yeah. And, whoops. And let's look, see if I have any of these little fairies left that are small enough to go in here. I wasn't thinking about that. I'm limiting the size of fairies I could use when I do that. Oh, yeah. Well, but you could put a bigger fairy uh on the outside. On the outside. But don't forget to put your um, birds on if you're wanting to put your birds on. Yeah, I'm going to. I just want to see about the fairies and then decide if the... If the birds are going up there. Yeah. So. Thank you, Janet. Yes, on Thursday, we're going to be coming on at noon because we are switching around. And I actually got done in time. We could have done our noon today, but it was just as well we didn't because my eye was just really funky. It's better yeah. now. Um, and, of course, not having all those lights on just helps a lot. So It was so funny. My eye stayed dilated until late Wednesday last week. And I'm sure this one will too, because it's it was really opened up up in the, there. I think the, they need to be black. They'll just show up better. Yes, the black ones I've I have used very few of the others. Okay, I'm gonna leave both of those there. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'll use both of them or just one, but uh, let me. Frankly, I like them both, but. Um, you do or don't? I do. I like having, I like seeing the two of them there. Yeah. Well, especially since they're kind of back in there, it looks mm -hmm. like it's, you know, not lonely. Yeah. We don't want a lonely little fairy. Teresa said she should have sent you some copper ones. <laughs> well, copper anything is good. <laughs> but you you sent us a lot of stuff. We're uh -huh. we're thankful. Very much to everyone who has contributed to this That's book. Right. Hmm. Hmm. Well, <coughs> this blue border kind of messes yeah. it up. I don't like that. I would have to really fussy cut them, and that would be very difficult. Yeah, if you're going to do that, you should do that before you take the back off. Yeah. Well, I would if I was going to do it. I just don't know if I want to do it. But it's really cute little birds. Yeah. Um, Maybe that I'll is save them and use them in my napkin journal. Yeah, that is something we need to think about when we go to do our napkin journal is that if it's something you actually want to be right on the line, that you want to cut it before you pull the back off. That's true. That is true. And I've done it, and it is doable. Mm -hmm. But um, it's it's a it's more like cutting fabric when you do that. And well, I'm, you know there, I'm there are, to cut fabric, so <laughs> there's another way to do that, and that is to um to do like you saw on the video, or uh, I think what did you call it? What did she call it? Glassine, or like I call it faux vellum. Oh, yeah. If you turn it into a piece of vellum by mod podging it, 
then it cuts like a piece of plastic. You yeah, know, or, that's true too. I definitely so, want to try some of that when we do our napkin journal. Hi, uh -huh. Nancy. Hi, Maria. We're glad well, you're I, here. I will tell you the best thing to do it on, hands down, is um, freezer paper. And you'll probably have to go to Walmart to get it. It's this. Um, it's a brand I have new box. Plastic coated freezer paper. I'm not sure if it's Reynolds though. Um, I don't know that I've ever seen it other than Reynolds, but that it very well could be. But it's plastic coated um, freezer paper. It's paper on one side and plastic coated on the other side. Hands down, it's the best thing I have ever found to do that kind of thing on. It all comes off. Paint all comes righty, off well, I, will, I will look into that before we get started. I mean, you could do it on your Teflon mat, too, but that means you have to set your Teflon mat aside until it dries. True. And my Teflon mat is taped down to a board, so I couldn't bend it to help get it off. Right. And I don't know about yours, but mine has now got stuffs on it like this is alcohol yeah. ink now this paint will come off but the alcohol ink does not come off that you can iron them on freezer paper flatten then cut yes you could iron it down um maria and nancy and are here hi guys is that did they just come in uh, just I just a minute they, ago yeah Oh, I don't want that little green. See, and that looks like the little tiny ones are back in the in the woods, and then the bigger ones are out front. A copper chef mat. Yes, Teresa. Um, I have a um, a Teflon chef mat as well, but it's kind of dirty too because it's out in the camper. I bought I bought it. Um, and they're much cheaper than these craft mats, by the way, guys. And they're the same thing. Um, and actually, it was bigger than this craft mat. I just didn't know about them when I bought this craft mat. But you can get two slightly bigger ones for the price of one of these craft mats. Okay, question. Uh-huh. Do you, which one of these two? Well, it's probably hard for you to tell. Do you like better one fly? I've got this one sitting on a stump over here. Well, if you're but going I to have a set on the stump, then I would use the flying one. Because okay. then it's kind of a, um, you know, a, a bottom left, upper right kind of thing. Yeah. Now, are you going to put your little bird up there somewhere? No, I decided not to. Okay. Well, I'm, I may try him in a minute. Um, I'll just okay. put him aside because it. I have a suggestion. Okay. Wait to finish the page until you get your package from me. Okay. Okay. Cause, cause I, I think one of those green butterfly, one or two of those green butterflies would be gorgeous on that page. Okay. Can I go ahead and put these down? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. They're just they're just like this, like hey, wait a minute, where are they? They're here somewhere. Okay. It'd be like this one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Those would be good. Okay. Yeah. I'll just do this much for now then. Okay. And it the the package went out today. But it went out priority, so it should be there by the end of the week. I mean, and we still have next week. You could just, and it won't take you two seconds to stick them down. Right. Alrighty. Okay. That sounds good. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for the for the heads up and <laughs> and for the butterfly. Okay. Well, I'm not as happy with Hannah's package as I would like but i i have to do some work before i can send another one but i'll I'm, don't tell her i'm just going to send another one okay well you don't 
You don't need to, to I do know. that. But, I know okay. I need to. But, you know, I just didn't have blue like I wish I had. And, and so I sent some things, but not everything I'd like to send. So. Well, thank you. And I, I, won't, I won't be working much this week because my eyeball. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's not going to like looking at uh, the flame tomorrow flame. at all. <laughs> yeah. I'll be glad though when all this all this eye stuff is totally done. I will be so glad. Joy says I've lost our camper keys. I'm small enough to fit through the storage, but can I lift the bed? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> yeah, because that means you got to crawl out. I don't know, Joyce, because your storage goes through to the bed. Huh, because ours does not. There's storage yeah. under my bed. There's storage under my bed, but the storage, um, our storage compartments are sealed. But that's a good question, Joyce. And how much other stuff is under the bed <laughs> that you can crawl in there? <laughs> oh. Now, here's here's what would happen at our house is that um, the it would be like when we couldn't find the shed keys. They were locked in the shed. <laughs> well, that does make it hard. They're supposed to be How like did you get in there. Oh, we had a, he had another set, but we couldn't find the other set for a while. We, we lurked everywhere for the keys and couldn't find them anywhere. I can't remember where I finally found them, but, you know, someplace that Robert they were says, What, Joyce? The picture in my mind is of you crawling into your camper through the storage locker. <laughs> and that's, that's basically what she's saying, is she's going to crawl in through the storage locker. Uh-huh. Okay, I've missed something here trying to see what. Oh, okay. What Holly's talking about that she's wanting to do. Well, I didn't even know Holly was here. Hi, Holly. Okay. Oh, okay. She says, Teresa said, use a copper chef mat. They're much cheaper and Holly says that my family dollar, they have them two for five dollars. That really is cheap. Our family dollar closed, though. Yeah, because Deborah says she's looking forward to the napkin journal. And Holly says, me too. She's been wanting to do one forever. So that's what she was talking about. Yeah, Deborah's, I can, I can see Deborah's. It says, if I were you, Joyce, I'd use your phone to call the locksmith. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, I'm still trying to figure out what what the book is that Holly's talking about using. She says, Mindy, I'm not sure what size. It's a bigger book if I use it though. So I wonder maybe if she's talking it, about if it's for the napkin journal. Yeah. Oh, here she says the book has nice watercolor type paper. It's on Van Gogh, I think. I took all the paintings out of it. Oh, that would be interesting. Yeah. That sounds like a nice book. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think I'm calling this page done until I get my little green butterflies. Let's see. I need to... Do need to make a, some a tag for there, at least one. Oops. I think I have tags everywhere else that I have a place to put tags. So I'm going to leave this here and do this Thursday and make tags. Okay. And I'm going to work over here now. Be 
because what we've got Thursday and next Tuesday, right? Yeah, but we were going to do the cover on Tuesday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, um, I think if I can get this page done today, I'll have plenty of time to do a page with pockets and make some tags next and on Thursday. Tags. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I think that will be a plan. Okay, where does this go? Maybe in here. Okay. <laughs> I've got um, one of these that I haven't used. Um, these ones, extra ones that I bought from Heather. Uh huh. Because she didn't have these when I bought the stuff that I bought for both of us. So I bought these later. Um, and haven't used any of them. And haven't used them yet. So I'm going to do that on this page. Uh oh, they're sending Holly to the corner. Uh oh. Not much I can see. I can see corner. Oh, <laughs> Joy said she's stubborn, and Holly said that um, stubborn and old don't mix. <laughs> Actually, well, some of the stubbornest people I know are old people. I see it. Uh huh. Oh, now he made get themselves in trouble. Do you think he's okay all by himself, just just like he is? I think he is. I like him just like, now. And across from him is all of this. But you know what might be pretty though? What is to have some ink kind of fanning out from behind him? A different, you know, a like. I don't know, green or something, just, just color, a little bit of color behind him. That'll make the black and white pop a little more. Okay. I don't think it's necessary, but I think it would be fun and pretty. Okay. You guys are never going to believe it. I think the lady next door has her, um, her leaf blower out. Oh, seriously? Yeah. Yeah. No. She's probably she's going not, through withdrawal. No, what she's doing is blowing the water off the um, driveway, I'll bet. She gets out uh, there with a broom and takes the water off, and it rained earlier. Well, I so, just know that she's, you know, she loves that leaf blower. Yeah, she really does. Okay, let's see what we got here. If there's a green, it's buried underneath the rest of the road. I think I'm going to the other room because I think that's going to be too dark. Okay, we'll be here when you get back. Oh, I think you will. You're not going to leave me. Hey, Debbie, thanks for coming in before you go stream. Have fun. <laughs> I, I agree um, with Shelly Joyce. Don't do anything that will get you on the news or in the hospital. The last place you want to be right now is in a hospital. Okay. I've got these in black. And I've got them in white. So I'm thinking of overlaying them like that. But I don't know if I want to do it that way or this way. Oh, here's a. Okay, let's see. There's too many choices here. But I think I'm going to spew some sprays and color the white parts, whichever, however I decide to, whatever I decide to use that's white. 
Those are gorgeous. Did I hear Debbie left? Yeah, she's got a stream at three, so. Uh, okay. <laughs> Holly says, a lady and her leaf blower. Stay tuned for the continuing saga. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Um, I don't know what, where my greens are, but we're going to try this one on a piece of paper and see what it looks like. Okay. Let's see. I think I'm missing a little bitty black fairy. Maybe I used it already on something. I don't remember, but maybe I did. Maybe it's in here. Nope. Okay. All those trips to the dollar store two weeks ago. Or, you know, go into two dollar stores and I didn't think to buy makeup sponges. Oh, dear. Well, I thought I had more, so I don't know where they're at. I just have apparently lost them. <laughs> Joyce says, my mother-in-law had a huge concrete driveway. Every day she would sweep. Her toilets needed cleaning, but she was more concerned with the neighbors. <laughs> 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 oh dear oh here's my other little black fairy okay good uh, it reminds me of my grandmother lived in the apartment behind mom and dad's house um from the time i was a little girl when they bought that house one reason they bought it was because it had an apartment back there for my grandparents my dad's parents to live in anyway i came over to visit one day and she was eating dinner with us and you know in mom and dad's house and we were all sitting there and the police came and uh, no, we saw it on the news where they had arrested someone in one of the apartments across the street for dealing drugs. And my grandma says, yep, I knew they'd been doing that for a long time. I'm glad they finally caught him. And I said, what? And she said, yeah, cars drive up and they honk and they go to the door and they get back in the car and leave. She says it happens all the time. She says, I've been watching them. Um, she said, but I didn't want to be the one reporting them because, you know, they, I didn't want them to know it was me, you know. So she peeks out through her window watching these guys. And um, after a couple of years, she's finally vindicated to know that they got arrested. But I thought, if you told me, I would have called the police. Mm -hmm. Well, but, um, that's that's the next door neighbor's son noticed um, that they're, they're across the street from us that, that way. Um and he'd been over and he said, Mom, I'm pretty sure that's what's happening down there. And, and she said, well, who do we call? And he says, well, you don't have to call anybody because I'm going to tell so-and-so because he has a friend that um, apparently works on the police force. It wasn't but a, you know, week, two weeks later, the house was empty because they arrested them all. They, they watched them come and go and they caught one of them with the whole bunch of money and drugs in her car and uh, so but that's how he noticed it because the cars came and went too much okay I think I'm gonna I can't make up my mind about using the black ones or the white ones uh-huh uh, I think I'm going to have to color the white first, and that will help me know. Okay. What do you think about this? I like that. Yeah, I think, I I think needed just a little bit. Of back there a little bit. Yeah, and I didn't like either one of the greens by themselves, but together they look pretty good. <sighs> the more greens, the merrier. Okay. That leaf blower is full of C-R-A-P. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, my I'm thing is she'll get out there when it's been raining and sweep the 
the water off of the driveway, but it doesn't do any good because the driveway has puddle has you know it's concrete and it has little holes in it. So oh I'll yeah. Giggle because it's like it's not going to do any good to sweep the rain off when it's still raining. But she's and it's determined. Supposed, yeah, and it's supposed to rain something fierce for the next few days. You know, we're supposed yeah. to get storms and whatnot. Yeah, we're supposed to too every day all week, which. Um, you know, I can remember many years when the kids were young and they wanted to go swimming with their friends. And in June, they never could go swimming because the days we would plan it, it would always rain. <laughs> but this year, we haven't gotten any until now. So, well, that's the thing. We haven't gotten much rain until the last few weeks. I thought I was afraid that I was going to lose my elephant ears because they have been so dry. And, and we had a little cold this winter where the cold also caused some issues. Okay. I'm thinking I need to put the fairies separate from the butterflies so they won't be the same color. But these little fairies I may go ahead and do with the with the wings, not butterflies. They're not butterflies, they're just wings. They just look like butterflies. Uh-huh. Okay. They're just wings. They're just wings. Okay. Oh, I've got that glue stick just sitting right there drying out. And this one too. Good grief. I walked away the other day and left my um, art glitter glue open for, you know, an hour. I was like, Tanya, dumb. Tanya, <laughs> dumb. Thanks, Holly. All right. Okay. There. I like this. But I think that it needs something, this something over here. So, I have one little flower painted on that thing, and I'm going to put it over there. That sounds just, good. Just, okay, let's see if I can find any sprays that'll work, because that'll be the easiest way to do this. And, um, Julie's oh, here. Uh, Hello, Julie. Hey, Julie. We're glad you're here. She said you chose a good color to put behind it. Julie likes oh. green, too. <laughs> well, um, like I said, I could have, this one was too dark and the other one was too olivey by itself, but together they look pretty good. So I'm, yeah, they do look good together. I'm happy that it, uh, it worked. Yeah, you, know, okay. you know, there's probably 15 colors, but I went to the other room to find them and it was not, I found glorious green, which, you know, that was no way I wanted that one. <laughs> bright, bright crayon color green. Yeah. Not for that particular. You don't, don't need it to be glorious, just green. Yeah, no, just green. Okay, I'm trying to move some stuff so that if I spray, I won't end up getting all these things that don't really need to be sprayed, like ink pads. And <laughs> okay. There's just, just a little something. something. I'm just going to put that right there. Just to have a little, oh, no, decoration. Julie says she's been here for 12 minutes and I didn't see her. I'm sorry, hon. Oh, I didn't either, Julie. I'm sorry, too. Tony has an excuse. I don't. Well, it's getting better. I'm, I'm, you know, it's starting to be where I can sort of see it. So... Okay, that completely got rid of the turquoise. 
but I like it. Okay. Oh, y'all can't even see. See, there we go. <laughs> well, we're going to let those dry. Okay. I, I was going to put this, I'll show you. It's going to put this over here on this corner. Just put a little flower over there. Just, just uh huh. Okay. But then I looked up here. I wonder if I should put this on some oh, three dimensional tape. I like and, that. And put it up there with some 3D tape so that it yes. stands up. Yeah, I like that. But I think. I or think should I glue it now? Be a brighter color. It well, needs maybe to be brighter. Not. I would add, add some of the red or whatever's on the other side of the page. Uh -huh. One of those bright colors. Okay. And then should I make it 3D? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I think so. I think so. Okay. Let's see. Okay. We may have to do that with a marker because I have no earthly idea where my um paints are. And it's not in there. Move those so I don't get turquoise. I want these to be turquoise. Oh, that's. I don't want to mix the purple with the turquoise. You don't? No. Mud is not what you're going for? Yes, I'm going to use the silhouette. Do what? I said mud was not what you're going for. No, no, mud's not what I'm going for. Oh, okay. See, it'll be like this. Actually, it won't be because I'm going to put them on black silhouettes and the okay. black onto these silhouettes. So, um, but that's an and they will be they will be stacked. Yes, excellent. She says, "All right." I like it when people think I'm doing something excellent. <laughs> yeah, that's a good word. Excellent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can just get a little bit of red in it. Oh. I'm move these off this wet plastic. Okay, those are going to be very vibrant. <laughs> <laughs> very mm -hmm. vibrant. Now mm -hmm. have to decide on the background for them. Very vibrant, huh? Yeah. Well, I got way too much on that. <laughs> Julie says her husband just told her everywhere you go, craft follows. <laughs> well, that's not the word my husband would use, but you know. <laughs> and they're both right. <laughs> okay. Now I need to um, make sure that's dry. Okay. I need to come up with a background to put on this page. Or these pages, I guess, actually. This spread. Oh, well, let's put these sprays up because they're in the way. In the way, in the way. Okay. Oh. All right. I 
I'm going to ink the edges because I don't know what else to do at the moment. And, uh, because we ink all the edges. That's true. We know we're going to ink the edges, so you might as well do that while you're trying to think of uh -huh. what else you're going to do. Okay. Let me get the book back over here so you can look at it and tell me if you think I got it bright enough. I can see right there that I think you got it bright enough. That looks that looks beautiful. All right, let's see. It's it's actually a little bit brighter than the um, other one, but that's okay because there we go. I love it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, now I gotta find my 3D tape, which I had here because I used it to put my little lady in. Yeah, I wish we had a teleporter. So that you know, you could just I could just teleport things to you. Well, yeah, or vice versa. I have 3D tape right here. I could just give it to you. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. you wouldn't have to go looking for it. Well, I found it. It was it was not too far away. Oh, good. I do not like this 3D tape, by the way. Um, this came from Dollar Tree. Uh -huh. It says sup the original super glue foam mounting tape. Okay. I don't know that, that that's the like case. a different brand from what I got there. Okay. Well, if you this was from Pacer Technology. I do not like this one. So just so y'all know. Okay. What is it about it that you don't like? Well, for one, the second, okay, it comes off the little roll fine, but getting this backing off is uh -huh. always a pain. And it, it wants to, okay, it fine, it came off okay today, but usually it's it peels off and it doesn't do what it's supposed to do. And, I mean, it's foam and it's three-dimensional, but as far as the backing paper goes, I don't like it. So okay, but well that's, that's really cute. That came out cute. So yeah, yeah, I like it. That was a great idea. You're so Super smart. Pages, you guys. Don't have okay. any tags. I got two pages now. Julie's gotta go. Bye, Julie. Thanks for coming. Okay, what do we got left here? Let's see. Let's start from the back. See that I need some tags in there. I'm thinking maybe just some light colored tissue paper, maybe. Need some tags in there. Need um maybe tags in there, tags in there, light colored tissue paper. Well, but now that no I think tag, about oh, that's where my little book goes, I think. I don't remember that that may be where my little book goes. So I got these two pages to do. Oh, my tags are actually in the pocket. Okay. Oh, well, good for you. <laughs> I may do some mushrooms. Some of these that are not don't have much color. Mm hmm. And then put those big fairies above them. Just to put something else on the page and not just very stuck in the middle. Mm, okay. Yep. I thought about just putting some um, some tissue paper, you know, that covers the page. Yeah. Okay. That may have to be a pocket. It just may. Right there. Be a pocket. Okay. Which kind of pocket? Side pocket. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just to give me an idea size-wise. That's what that's going to be. Then I got to do something right here. And I do have some fairies that I really wanted to use. I, have not, I took them out of my book. Mm 
I have used very few of these. Thank you, Shelly. Oh, wow. If I back up far enough, I can almost read that. Rip, 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 rip. Yep, sorry. There's no need to be sorry. I can just hear it. It's rip, rip, <laughs> rip, rip. Yep. Uh, I like to rip stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm thinking. Where's the marigold tree? I have put very few of these in there, so I think I'm just going to do this page like that. I'm going to put these two in there. <laughs> okay, but that means I need to cut this out. Are you thinking? Yeah. Can you tell my brain's hurting? Yeah. Well, um, the the smoke was, you know, <laughs> it was coming through the screen. Yeah, it was just billowing up. The only thing about that is there's very little color. So if you do that, you're going to have to do something like you had me do to just, I don't know, put a little color or or more brown, one of the two, maybe, maybe put. Yeah. Well, what I'm going to be doing is. I think the fairies are going to be really bright. Ah, okay. So I wanted something with not a lot of color, but I wanted to add something else. Because I've got black up here right now, but they're not going to be black. It's those ones that I've just sprayed. sprayed. Okay, well, see, then you probably won't need the color that I was thinking. Yeah. I was hmm. just, I don't want them just like this. I'm going to have to fussy cut them out, I think, if I'm going to use them. Yeah, my tea fairy got up. Yay! <laughs> yeah would you make me some tea i would really appreciate it so you're going in your you're going in your man cave is what you're telling me oh okay one of the reasons he went to get the old desk here recently was because of um some games he wants to play so he's going to go see he got the old desk and he picked up his dad's old computer um, that has XP on it so that he can see if he can run this old game. So, but yeah, I think fussy cutting those out is going to be a necessity. I don't think that it's, uh, that they're going to look right. Just, I agree.
for worrying that that book was not going to have enough images in it, we could have stuck to that one single book and still had a whole book. That's true. But That's it would have looked all the same. I really like, thank you very much, sweetie. I appreciate it. I really like what we've done as far as using multiple different sources so that the book has more identity on its own than yeah it's not just her book rehashed <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah because i'm afraid that's what it would have been had we just stuck to one book yeah i think you're right i think we made the right choice i just didn't expect to have so much stuff left over yeah me either but maybe in a year or two, we'll want to do another fairy book. I don't want to do one in the next month or two. That's for sure. Well, but you know, we could always use a fairy in our napkin journal. That would be one that's fairy. True. That would be one fairy that went away, right? One yeah. fairy down. Let's get rid of the rest of them. <laughs> but I mean, I love these. I could just put these on some cards. They would be really cute. And they're small. Most of them are small enough. Yeah. That if I needed a card or something, I could put it on there. Yeah. Okay. So this one is going to go like that. And they make cute journaling cards for any, you know, any, yes. especially any kind of vintage journal. Right. So, um, and you never know. I may need to make another fairy book. It might be fun to make one all with painty paper so that it would be bright. Yeah. can't find my favorite little fussy cutting scissors. Uh -oh. I'm just trying to put a pair in the house, but I've, I've got a pair for in the house and a pair for out here. And I can't find the pair for out here. I have a feeling that what happened is when I was bringing stuff out here, I stuck it in a box. And, um, and, and now you have to find that mystery box. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. They got real quiet in chat. <laughs> well, they're holding their tongue just right so I can fussy cut this out. I see. Excuse me. No problem. Uh, My tea gave me a tickle. I have a permanent tickle, so I know kind of what that's like. I think I turned my air conditioner off so those little things I was spraying wouldn't blow away while they're trying to dry. And it's and getting warm. Kind of <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We got well, a cold front today. It's only supposed to get up to 85. I was going to say, I don't think it's as warm today as it has been, but then it had been raining and now it is, you know, 99.9% .9 humidity out there. So yeah. it doesn't matter. The other day it was only like 87 but the the um what do you call that the feel of the temperature whatever that's called feels like is what my phone says was 96 so joyce i'm sure that it is not your fault she says i hope i didn't scare the chat away oh i'm sure it's not her fault. barbara is going to Says she printed out four of her fairy book pages to send his birthday cards. Cool. Yeah. Are these ones that you've already posted pictures of or are these? 
other ones. Mindy says, is the inside going to say, have a very good birthday? <laughs> that would be a good thing to put. I, I it think would. It, it would work. Uh-huh. Joyce says she'll let us know when she plans the invasion. I'm assuming her van and her um, camper Going invasion. Yeah, uh-huh. You best take your phone yeah. with you just in case you get stuck. That's right. Mina says, or we're being quiet because we're making and eating lunch. It's Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Well, we're going to have leftover Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. That's what I happens have... when I take my biggest pan and put as many vegetables in it as I can put. There you go. And I say to so Jeffrey, that, you, will, you will have leftovers for another day, or does that mean you're eating the leftovers today? We're eating the leftovers today. Um, I did like a big, it's kind of stir fry. They really end up, some of them end up kind of steamed because of, you know, by the time I, that pan just doesn't stir fry things real well. Yeah. And I'm lazy and I won't get out the giant wok because it's too hard to get out anymore. It used to have a, a place in my kitchen in South Dakota, it had its own little spot and it was easy to get in and out and I used it all the time. But anymore, I use a, a big pan, a big deep pot. And so some of them get kind of steamed, but that's okay. That Jeff's good with it. Yeah, that's kind of how I do. I do use a, use a big skillet. I have a wok. The only thing my wok gets used for nowadays is making popcorn. Well, and mine really wasn't a wok. It's more of a giant bowl type skillet. And when Brandon was home, I would fill that and it would make one meal. So, but now for Jeff and I, it, when I fill up this pan that I've been using, it uh, makes a couple of meals. Well, leftovers are a good thing in my book. Mm-hmm. Mine too. Okay, so yeah, we got a couple more fairies that I can cut out. These are little tiny fairies that are barely there. So I'm going to use, since I have them, I'm going to use them on these pages. That is, if I can see these to cut them out, I might actually be able to turn my other light back on. All right. And we'll see. Nope. No, 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 not doing not that. Not yet. No. My vision well, is clearing up a little bit, so that means that it's going down some. <coughs> Did I tell y'all the latest in the breaks saga? Oh no, that you told you told me the other day that you were going to have to have another new analog break system. Yes. Thing. So, and. Uh, well, I called them and asked them if they could give me an estimate about what it was going to cost because I was figuring it would probably be another $3,000 because that's, you know, what they had um, estimated it would have been uh -huh. before. Um, but anyway, the guy said that um, they're just going to charge me a thousand and twelve dollars which is what it would have cost more than what i already paid last time to have done this the first time and they're gonna uh, i said well are you getting money back on that part and he said no he said that's just cost of doing business don't fret about it he's we're not going to charge you labor this time just the rest of the cost of that part well in all honesty so. that's the right way to do it yeah, I think it is. And I've always felt like they were honest, good people. But mm -hmm. anyway, he asked me because, <laughs> like I said, I was thinking it was going to be 3000 and Darren was going to be happy if it was only 3000 you know, the way this car has been eating money. And um, so when he asked me if I was fine with that and I said, I'm so fine with that, I could cry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really, really happy about that. But 
but um, anyway, they're still working on it though. It's I imagine they're working it in around other things, mm -hmm. um, which is fine with me. But the I've been driving the car that we um, well the one I had the accident in that was totaled, and the reason I have this Mariners because this car got totaled. My father-in-law um, wanted to buy it since they wouldn't, um, you know, for the reclaim value or whatever it is. I, I can't remember what they call it, what that, what kind of value it was. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it wasn't much. <laughs> it was like four hundred dollars or something. Um, <coughs> the salvage value. Yes. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, so he he did that, and then he had somebody fix it where it was um usable and um oh what is that thing you have to do every year inspection it would pass an inspection and then he um you only have to do it we don't have to do that you don't have to do inspections no that's why right. it's mean that oh and you think florida's not so bad as alabama alabama doesn't have inspections either you should see the junk wow. that drives around on these roads, Lisa. Yeah, I think we got some pretty much junk driving around on these roads, even with an inspection. Yeah. Anyway, so we got that back, and then we had to put a bunch of money into it, too, because it had a bad gas leak. I mean, oil leak. And um, anyway, right now, the, the driver's side door uh, thing that you open from the inside mm -hmm. broke. So I have to roll the window down and open it from the outside. <laughs> yep. And that handle is, has been replaced once and it's, it's kind of precarious. And the passenger side one only has this much of the handle left because it's broke off. <laughs> anyway, about a year ago or maybe more, we bought indoor and outdoor handles for all four doors of this car to replace them. I guess it was more like two years ago because the, accident happened over a year ago anyway um so we had those pieces when we and we stuck them in the trunk it gave them to um my father-in-law when he bought the car and um and then when it came back it wasn't sealed so the trunk would leak oh no and so um i have been assuming all this time that darren just took them out of the trunk and put them in the garage. So when um, when I was driving it and this it was acting up, you know, it broke like this, and we were needing that replaced. Darren went out and he looked around. And he said, "Well, those aren't in the garage. Maybe they're still at Dad's." So I called his dad and said, "Could you look and see if you still have these pieces?" Because when I called the shop and asked them what it would cost to replace that um outside handle on the passenger door and the inside and outside handles on the driver's door the parts were going to cost 250 dollars oh. and about 200 in labor <laughs> and i thought it's well worth finding those things you know uh, mm -hmm. if we can find them and um what i was afraid happened was that the guy who fixed it you know took them out when he was fixing it and they just never got back it anyway um so Wes went and he looked around and he didn't find them. And so I was thinking, I do not want to spend 250. I'm going to go look in the garage again. And there they were just sitting in a, <laughs> they were sitting in a, they were in a box, which never would have occurred to Darren to look inside a vitamin box <laughs> for these handles because they were sent to us in a box. And that was the box that they, we were holding them in. So I was just looking for a certain size box and he was looking for a box that looked like it held auto parts. <laughs> anyway, I found them. So I saved myself $250 this morning. I'm really happy. <laughs> Yay. Um, Lori Lou is here. Hello, Lori Lou and Dana. I didn't realize Dana Yates was here and she's here and she says, Nope, Florida has no inspections. Nope. We have no inspections. South Dakota doesn't have yearly inspections. Nebraska does not have yearly inspections. So, wow. Um, yeah. And my husband oh, is always bothering her, so she had to leave. Uh, who did? Cheryl. Oh. And we didn't say bye. Uh oh. 
Bye bye, hun. I didn't, I didn't see. Yeah. Well, we have we have inspections, and if you don't get it inspected, you can't get your tags renewed. So. No. And you have to have it inspected within 90 days of renewing your tags. So it's all built in together now. I need some kind of something underneath this, don't you think? They don't just need to sit there. I mean, they've got even some if brown, it's just but, a nice brown ink. Yeah. Um, okay. You know, it, it needs something, even if it, like I said, even if it's just brown ink across it. I think I'm going to use the green and the brown. Okay. I think that'll make a good base. And then I'm going to ink and them. And Dana, in. I don't know. Have you been in our streams before? Hello and, and welcome. I, I don't know that I've seen you in a stream before. So Me either. We're glad you're here, though. Yep. We are. We are. I got to switch ears. We do way. have uh, local salvage par uh, yards, Janet. We do. And sometimes... Sometimes you can do that. We ordered these because they were a matching set. We ordered them, I think, off of eBay. Um, and I'm so glad we found them because the salvage yard only had gray ones. Not that it matters as old as this car is, but these are actually tan and so they match. <laughs> but well, it's it's and the other thing is is that you know there's a certain point in certain cars um, that y you can you can't. It's like my car when the lady hit me last Wednesday and I think and the damage that she did, which is not very much, it's, it's very minor, but the piece that's damaged is, um, it's a plastic little cappy thing. And, um, this car was garage kept anything that's out there now. I'm pretty sure that piece would be dry rotted. So, yeah, you know, just because like my car, you can't always go get something. The it's kind of like I don't have analog brakes because my analog brake system does not work. And he just told me my brakes work fine. Just I ha I'm driving an old car and I have to remember how to drive an old car. And my cars have been. I've had cars that didn't have analog brakes before, so it's not a big, for me, it's not a big deal. I understand how to to use it. But from what they said about your car, Lisa, that it, whatever is wrong with it, that system has to be replaced or it's not safe. And that's the right. difference. That's the yeah, difference. Yeah, that's different. That's the difference in a um, an old car and a really old car, <laughs> I guess. Well, the, it's about what part is is broken. That's really yeah. it's it's a it's it's about which part is actually broken. So, okay, now uh, Holly gonna, says if a vehicle is of a certain age, you have to get a smog check before you can get tags renewed. We have um, in some cities. Or counties, I guess, in Texas, like down in Austin and San Antonio, Dallas and Fort Worth, Houston, all those kinds of places, you have to have that, you have to have emissions checks anyway. But up here, you don't because we have so much wind, nothing, no smog sticks around. You're not, it just, it just blows it all to, I don't know, New Mexico or Oklahoma, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah, that's just the way it works. Pew! Yeah, okay. but um, I know my brother had a car that he kept up here, but he bought it in Austin, and so he had to go back down there to get it inspected because up here they don't inspect for emissions control. <laughs> so um, he had to take it back down there to get it inspected and then bring it back up here because he just had it up here when he was working up here. He just left it at our house and he would fly in and have it to do, you know, business with. But, but that okay. was when I first found out Carrie, about that. Carrie, is that right? Am I seeing that right? 
Carrie. Yes. Hi, Carrie. It's good to see you. I haven't seen you in a while. We haven't been in the same streams. Hello, hello. I'm not sure I've ever seen her in one of my streams before. Lisa, that looks good, and that will be wonderful under there. I just looked up to see it. I, th I think I think it's going to turn out good. I was having my doubts there for a second, but it was I didn't like floating mushrooms, so now they're not floating, so I'm happier. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, floating mushrooms are a little, you know, obnoxious. I, I don't, I don't think we need them to float. No, no, no floating mushrooms. Did I tell you about Jeff taking the bush across the front of the house and oh, making it go away? That, that he had been there was this noises, and I went out to see what was going on, and he was cutting down a tree. No. Well, it, we have, you know, this house was you know, really mistreated before we got it. And um, the bushes, you know, the the bushes that are out front um, are overgrown and they're too close to the house. They're in the wrong places because they block the vents. So he went to trim one of them. And when he trimmed, it was all sticks on the inside whatever bushes these are um they only grow on the ends so i go out there and i realize what he's done is just chop the dumb thing off at the base and he's already done this to a couple of others and you know there's there's it's just they were green in front of the house but now the front of the house looks naked so <laughs> i've been trying to find um something that will not grow that way and that you can trim and I think we're going to go look for some something called a pineapple guava. They produce, they, they can be like a hedge, but they produce fruit. So, How fun is that? Yeah, I thought that was fun. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it will be fun to have them. So we're, I want something. The front of the house looks just a little naked right now. Yeah. So... But the neighbor across the street, they had, the, they had the same kind of bushes we have, and they had allowed them to just build up and build up and build up, and then it got so wet under her house. And you know, when we've we've had water issues too. Well, when we have water issues, Jeff goes and um, he gets under there and puts a sump pump under there and deals with it, right? Right. She was there all by herself, and in the last few years. All of a sudden, she went through the kitchen floor. Oh, no. Yeah, it, it was so covered with black mold that the, her insurance company told her to get out of the house. And um, somebody bought it and uh, has refurbished it, but they had to take all of the all of the interior flooring up and redo the whole. Say, it's, it's almost like having to rebuild it. It, yeah, it was. It basically had to be rebuilt inside. So, but uh, that's that's you know, around here, foundation plantings need to be really paid attention to if they're real close to the house. So this is something we can plant, and they can be cut back. And but it's taken me three or four weeks to figure out what might work now we have to see if we can find them anywhere yeah so well, but I, I did can. i did email the extension agent to find out if they would grow you know that kind of thing because it says they will but that doesn't mean they really will that's true just because they say they'll grow in florida does not mean they will really grow in florida or really grow in your part of Florida. I mean, <laughs> um, Teresa, azaleas would be azaleas would be nice, um, but I thought something that would produce fruit would be nicer. So that, but azaleas. The other thing about azaleas is that they're kind of 
they're they're not very dense and you kind of have to they they also want to overgrow things they're pretty they're only pretty a couple times a year though A lot of the planting that was in this yard we have taken out. Um, it, it was not was not taken care of, and um, there was some palms in the back which were are awful. They're just horrible plants. That, as far as we're concerned, they're just pokey. And th the thing was is that they were planted in this really nice landscape all around the pool. Well, before we bought the house the bank took the pool and filled it in so which is fine we did not want a pool but because of that now then we had these big huge sable palms sago sago palms which are pokey and nasty and i mean they were huge one of them jeff had to take the um the jeep and rope the jeep it to the jeep and and back out with the jeep and it was actually taking the jeep and going like that because it was so heavy he couldn't get it ripped out of the ground with the jeep wow yeah i mean these things were awful and so we've pulled a lot of the landscape out because it was in such poor condition and so now we got to put it back you know now you have to think about what's gonna hi nashua the Thank you, Nashua. Is... Yeah, this. You have one that changes with it. Hmm. Are you talking about the azalea? Cha the stem is purple. Um, Teresa, I think that's what she said. Let me see if I can see this there. Leaves go from green to red, and the stem is purple. We have we have two oranges already, Mina. Hi, Dana. Um, Dana, we are in the most northwest place you can be in Florida. We're in Pensacola. Um. Yes, I hate the sago palms. I just, um, where are you, Dana? They, they're pokey and they're just, they were just awful. And they, these ones were huge. Jeff put them on Craigslist for free. If you dig them, you can have them. And this lady came and she must have come three or four weekends and she brought her daughter and they dug those things. And, um, did, okay, Nashua has put a, a little picture, Lisa. I cannot, um, I can't see it. Can you tell me what it is when you get done with what you're doing? Um, I don't see a picture. Oh, it's just a little, one of those little meme thing or little, Oh, it's a flower and a heart. Oh, okay. Thank you. I'm sorry. I didn't. That's okay. I, my I just cat hadn't rolled up where it was supposed to be, so I didn't see him. Ah, okay. Okay. These are kind of options, so you can see the. The different it's a options. tulip and a heart. Thank you, Teresa. Okay, that's plenty of color. I agree. Um, I would pick one purple one, and I like the butterfly on the left page. And this one. Yeah. Yeah. And actually, maybe the one that was with it, but only one on each page. Yeah, well, that's what I was going to do. I was just trying to decide which one. Oh, Winter Haven, yeah. 
your aunt lives lives about 45 minutes from Pensacola. Well, technically we are in um Bougainvillea. Um technically we're in Pensacola, but we're actually in the county north of the highway. So it puts us um it puts us outside the hurricane area okay drop the left one down a little and raise the right one up a little maybe and push it towards the corner so that they're kind of offset if that makes I sense realize one. so that well i can do this what? no i can't shoot she's the uh, wrong direction well I, i'm using actually the same girl and i don't want to oh. use the same girl Okay, Teresa, that sounds good because I want to um, I want mm. to get started on that project. Um, Dana, it may be too warm for Bougainvillea. Okay, like that. Well, no, Dina says it's heat tolerant. Yeah, that looks that looks a little better. I like those. Those are pretty. I'm thinking too that I might get um, pecans, a, a pecan tree. Um, we have room. Do you think tree. that using the black one on this one is better than using their little hands keep catching on everything? Better than using that one. Um, I'm having trouble seeing the difference, Lisa. So okay. I, well, the I difference like is that the the wings are painted versus oh. black. Oh, I like the I like the painted wings. I think. Okay, that's what I like too. So, um, Teresa, I will let you know if I need anything else. Um, okay. Dana, we go to um, Crestview a lot for my mom. Not lately, but. It's 110 outside and it's blooming like a maniac. Okay. Do you suppose it's because we have so much moisture that Dana has so much moisture that she can't get it to. Oh, she says that Bougainvillea has lots of thorns and they grow like crazy. Anyways, we have two orange trees. Now, the second one um, is out behind Jeff's shed. And in the past, it has not had oranges on it. But this year, it has oranges on it. So we're thinking maybe it just, um, it just needed time to get the oranges. Um, so he was he's real happy about that that it's gonna have oranges this year. Oh, I need air conditioning. I keep saying our, that. our other orange tree. Um, yeah, you said that a little while ago. I did. Our, yeah. <laughs> our other orange tree last year, Jeffrey took mm, probably four hundred oranges off of it. Um, wow. We gave, oh yeah, we gave oranges away everywhere. Um, I may actually um order a juicer this year doing it by hand it'd be just too much i think um but i may order a juicer this year so that i can make and keep some orange juice in the freezer because i could just put it in the freezer okay i need some clips that's what i need is clips clips Because it was, uh, they were so good. The oranges were absolutely delicious last year. Um, and then, the, you know, the neighbor across the street has a lemon tree. And the lemons are round and big like this. They're like grapefruits. And I froze those last year. 
and I'm still um, using them. So now, if I'm not careful, I'm going to end up having to have another freezer, which Jeffrey will not be happy with me. <laughs> well, you know, one of the reasons we didn't keep our big freezer was because uh, I didn't want to have it full and then have a hurricane. Right. You know, so. Makes perfect sense to me. As someone who had a freezer go out that when they didn't know it, I had one out in the garage. Ooh. In that house I lived in and I didn't realize that I hadn't gotten in it in a long time. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. That, that, that would be nasty. Um, it was um, the most horrible I, thing. I had <laughs> a big was. freezer in um, South Dakota and um, but I used it all the time, you know, because we live so far away from everything that if I went to the city, which is two and a half hours away, I would have coolers in the back of the truck and I would come back with all kinds of food and put it in the big freezer. Yeah. And also in the wintertime, I didn't like to go to the store very often. So I would have a lot of food in the freezer. And then if I needed just little essential stuff, Jeff would stop and get it. Um, Mina, I know that they need male and female, but the next door neighbor has a couple of pecan trees as well. And there are a bunch of them um, in the neighborhood. So I only have to have one or maybe two um, to have to get pecans because whichever one you know they don't they don't drop pecans they don't have fruit or bear nuts every year either at least not very well so sometimes it helps to have two so that you have um what do you call it you have more possibilities of getting nuts every year too but i have a peach tree think of the pies and peach jam and um, Mina, it gets awfully warm here. I, peaches, I don't think, grow here. Um, northern, further north in Alabama grows pretty good peaches, but I don't know that we can grow peaches here. I, I would have to double check, but peaches might be something because we would love peaches. Yeah, we grow peaches here as long as they, they don't get frozen out before they you know, as the, after, at the, at the time of blooming, lots of times they get, you get a big freeze and then you don't get any peaches, but. Um, yes, Teresa, if I go after, um, pecan trees, I will, uh, be hunting, hunting those paper shells because they are sure nicer. Um, Holly, do you know that our orange tree has thorns about this long? The orange, the type of orange we have. But peaches and pecans together, that would be really good. I put um, walnuts in the dessert I made last last week or so with um, the, the blueberries. So, okay, what do I have left here? Okay. Nothing there. I might have finished all my pages, Lisa. I oh. Might. I'm oh there's another set. <laughs> well, you need something to do tomorrow. I mean Thursday. I've I've got to make tags like crazy, so not not not. That, believe me, I'll have enough to do because I have a bunch of spaces I need tags for. But I think I just have that one spread left, which might mean that I want to look to find a a napkin because I haven't used but like one nap, two napkins. Nah, I've used more napkins than that. Yeah, I have. So I'm not sure what's going on. But um, yeah, a pecan, a pecan, peach, the pineapple guavas would be um, nice. 
Okay. I've been trying to find out if, if we can grow papayas here, but I don't I don't think we can. Okay, I just have that one spread left. That's all, all that's right. right there. So I got to decide what I'm going to do with it. Um, the lemon tree across the street has thorns too, Holly. Um, Mina, when my son, my son, when my son was little, no, when my husband was little, they would go all over town picking up pecans. And um, what they usually would do is like, if if it belonged to a neighbor, if it was in the neighbor's yard, they would ask the neighbor if they could pick them up and then they would give half to the, the person whose yard it was and they would keep half. And there's a place here in town called Renfro's and their their mom would take them out to Renfro's and they could sell their pecans. And that's how they got money to go to the fair to ride the rides and do all the fair stuff that they have. So um, that's, that's a story that my husband tells all the time is that they picked up pecans for for next to nothing. Now the last time we got a good crop of pecans, we didn't um, our friends really good friend of Jeff's wife's cousin they have pecans they had a pecan orchard on his homestead. So they had a lot of um, of pecans on their homestead and we got we got a lot of pecans that year but this the last last year they didn't have very many it all depends on the year so we're hoping for them this year especially since it looks like we're going to be here to um to pick them up okay uh, well this is my last spread here and i've got an extra page so i can use it to make pockets so i'm trying to decide what kind of pockets nina's I'm gonna find. go eat something that sounds good I'm not sure what that little thing is, but it's. I think it's a pineapple. Aha. Uh -huh. She's going to go eat a piece of pineapple. Okay. Everybody's talking about things, making her hungry. Yeah, well, we were talking about all this food. You know, I don't know. Oh. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? Oh, what? Well, I, I was getting this weird greeny brown color when I was inking my page and realized I was using the the green ink pad and I dipped it in my brown so uh -oh. not good no but okay it's it'll survive okay that's good all right what do I want to do what do I want to do what do I have left that I really really feel like I need to use I have coloring book pages that I feel like I should use I have these things that I should use You know, I had a, a spot. I really wanted a flower. And there's a flower just sitting there. And here's another one. And I bet you I could put those in that spot. Come on now. Don't get all bent. Where was that spot? Not there. Not there. Did, you made two of those pull out doors too, didn't you? And two I only pull out. Made, yeah, I did. And I only made one. I had a couple of, you know, spots with just one page, and so I put them on those. Uh huh. So they wouldn't be. Skin burnt, bent. Okay, come on. I know you're in here. Where are you?
Oh, there it is. Yep. Okay. That, uh -huh. that'll make me happy. That'll make it look right. Okay. Yay. Okay. See the little, just a little, little yep. something. The baby band, just a little something, something. Oh. Are you all right? I knocked my ink pad off, but luckily my napkin drawer caught it because <laughs> okay. it's open for some reason. Oh, uh, well, Mina says that it happens every time that we all make her hungry. <laughs> well, I understand. Y'all all make me hungry, too. <laughs> uh, I'll get something to eat when we get through. Okay. I can't decide what kind of pockets I want to make. One of the things I want to add in are some of these um, like bookmarks so you could so you kind of need some smaller pockets i'll show you the one i made the other day which i really liked how it came out because it was kind of backwards to what i usually do yeah um, okay this one okay instead of doing oh yeah like this i did this way and then this way <coughs> which yes, i really very like good out and that would work for your shorter little pieces yeah oh, okay where did that spread lost the spread where i need that need to make something now oh you know what i haven't done is use that oh that's going to be just way too thick there's just no way that's going to fit in there <sighs> That camera, that pop-up oh, camera. But well, you may have to save that for your next fairy book. Yeah, because I'm afraid that my, my book is already so fat. Yeah. And that camera is really thick. Okay, come on. That's why I went and got the bigger punch. Okay. Yeah. 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 Hmm. 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 Oh, do I want to put one of these on there? some of these on there. I also have this one, which I could put this on. Come on now, guys. You don't need mate in this package every single time I put you away. <laughs> oh. We definitely got plenty, didn't we? Yes, we did. Hmm. Or I could put this in there. Oh, that might be pretty. You're kind of out of frame. Oh, thank you. Sorry, guys. Uh -huh. It looks like a full moon behind it. Mm-hmm. Well, see, and I glittered up this fairy, and she hasn't fit anywhere. She doesn't. She doesn't show up very well. I 
Thank you, Janet. Yes, we will be here on um, Thursday, but at noon. And maybe by then I'll be able to see Jack. <laughs> Although it's getting better. It really is getting considerably better. But my eye is feeling less stressed, too. It wasn't feeling good when we came home. I was like, oh, my gosh. I don't remember the other one being owie like this. Ah! Oh no, what happened? Are you a oh no? Okay. That was not what I wanted. Okay, is that the bottom or the top? It's at the bottom. I'll just put something over it. Okay. I have, um, on one of mine, I have, um, what do you call that? I don't Wall know. Wallpapers on my, one of my pockets. Now, she doesn't show up very well on <laughs> camera, but she shows up pretty well. I oh, made it too, too big, so it goes up. Um, I don't know how to, I'll have to ink it for you to see. <laughs> I can see it. Well, all you have to oh, do okay. is tear off a little half inch. Yeah, I could do that. On the same, on the same, what do you call that? Um, angle. Wonder if I have two of the same color. Yes, I do. Now then, what I started to ask you about this little fairy, she does show up very well, but I can see her. Do you think she's okay? I do, yeah. Okay. Because I, I can see her, and I think she probably looks even better to you. Well, yeah, see, she's so covered in glitter that uh, she doesn't show up real well to the camera, but I can see her. But I'm thinking that I may just make that page just like that. I would just be, that's way too easy, isn't it? Ink it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I have to ink it. But I want to figure that, out, yeah. I want to mm -hmm. figure out what I'm going to do on the other page to make sure that this page is going to go with the other page because otherwise it's like, Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. So, it's like, rah, 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 rah. We also got some really nice leaves. And I haven't used much of the leaves. I'm tempted to do it like this. Well, that's cute. Um, I like that too, though. Okay, you've got a ton of pages. You could make um that like that on the right side and then take and glue some pages together and make a s another single pocket on the left i could yep i could okay Teacher says, oops <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay, I need to work on that little spot.
to work on a little spot you've got a little spot you need to work on well where I tore it oh mm -hmm. yeah There, quick and easy fix. Nobody will ever know. There you go. Okay, now to decorate. Because these will go nicely right there. Mm -hmm. Or I could make a different kind of pocket and stick them in over here. Shot on everything. Okay. I don't know what the air conditioner is on, but with all these lights on in here, I usually am so hot, and today I'm freezing. Wow. So I don't, I don't know if Jeff was so hot when he came in, he turned it down, or just what? Because I'm, I'm honestly cold. <laughs> it's like, okay, Jeff. Really? <laughs> okay. I kind of oh. like that one there, sitting on that edge of that pocket. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's cute. But I'll need to reinforce it from behind, I think. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to put her up there, but I need to ink it first. And then we'll start with her because we gotta work from the inside out There's a yellow one. That will be good. I need a yellow one. Yellow one. There's another black one. Okay. Is there another maroon? There. Mm -hmm. That's all right. Oh, that would be good. Another yellow. A yellow one like that. That would be even better. Okay. Thanks, Barbara. 
Okay, go, go run your errands and take a nap. Sounds nice. Teresa's got plum trees. Um, she has a maple seed. Yes, that's I would love to have plum a plum tree. Um, and we could probably put plums in here. I'm not sure. Um. Okay, Lisa, what do you think of this? This one. Okay, sorry, Hannah was talking to me. Oh, that's all right. Oh, I like it. Um, okay. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. Stop. <laughs> Don't fly away. Well, I've got the I've got the fans on because um, you know it was way too warm. Normally, oh, stop. Off. You started to say something like you I, you would do something a little different or something. Oh, I was just wondering about trying to find a way to blend in the edges of that pattern paper. Oh, I, I'm going to, um, I think, kind of tear it a little bit and then probably ink things. What do you think? That sounds good to me. Okay. Because if I ink it with the brown, the pattern paper should kind of blend in. The other thing yeah. is, is, I think I'm going to, um, I want some more sayings. So I'm thinking about putting some sayings on these pages. Tanya, you were saying once that you wished you had some of those maple seeds for reels and your tree is loaded with them. Do you want some? Oh, no. Um they would it wouldn't grow here um i do appreciate that dear I, I we used to, i used to live where those kinds of seeds grew where those kinds of trees grew i would wish that maple trees like that would grow here but they just don't grow here and teresa's going to mail you something lisa i don't know what she's Teresa would like some, Barbara, but Barbara already saw that. Okay. But I'm not sure what Teresa is going to mail to you. Okay. Well, I'll go back and look and see if I can find it. Oh, not to grow oh. to use my jelly plate. Well, yeah. You gonna mail me a plum tree? No, she's no. These little <laughs> these little uh, maple leaves. The maple oh, leaves. okay. That's what Barbara's talking about. That man. would be fun to use on the jelly plate. They sure would. Yes. yes. And um, so, yes, Barbara, if if you if you feel the um, the urge to mail me something, some of those would be fun to mail to have on my jelly plate. Oh, she was going to mail me a plum tree. She was going to mail you a plum tree. Oh goodness, that would shipping on that would probably be really expensive. And would one plum tree even? produce if there aren't any other plum trees around i don't know about thank plum. you barbara um not all trees have to have uh not a lot of them are self-pollinating so ooh, that'd be cool to try it would now i know it takes them a while to um to start to produce that much i know um Okay, Barbara. Bye bye. Bye bye, hun. No, it would not make plums. Yes, these do. I think that she's saying you would have to have more than one. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> uh, Teresa's thinking uh, grow, and Barbara's thinking show. Yeah, um, hi, Sandra. Um, 
the thing of it is is that we don't use jam don't use jelly don't use jam don't use any of that stuff so and never have um even when brandon was little um my son does not eat peanut butter and jelly he he didn't even you know even though peanut butter and jelly is something he could eat um he does not eat peanut butter and jelly and he would eat peanut butter and peanut peanut butter and bread peanut butter and peanut butter and bread but he has never eaten peanut butter and jelly he's just that's just one of those things he doesn't eat so um i learned early on that uh keeping jelly even was a waste because it would it would get mold on it i mean when when jelly molds in the refrigerator because you haven't used it um it's kind of silly to keep it so it was when he was little even his friends would come over and okay first off my kid didn't get away with this um if if you put something on the table he better try it and uh uh but when when they would say they they didn't like it you know uh, i can fix you peanut butter but i don't have any jelly so this poor friends didn't get treated very well <laughs> oh she says you cannot you can't they will produce if you only have one. Ooh, that would be fun to have that would be fun to have well if you can do it and it's not terribly expensive yeah. then that would be great teresa but if it's an expensive thing to do um i hate for you to to do it well and i better tell you don't get caught doing it because i don't know if you're allowed to honestly oh nurseries can ship them yes nurseries can but um but do they ship by a post office uh well the only time i've ever got anything like that um i got them from the audubon society and they did come from the post office but um but that was a long time ago so. Teresa says um she knows how to ship plants without it being terribly expensive awesome girl that's fabulous well, that would be amazing yes and it she would. is allowed to do it so yeah all right um, well, that would be really cool Teresa thank you yeah it'd be very cool um Sandra part of the problem is is that I can't see chat very well today and um because I had my eye done this morning and the other part of the problem is is that we're we're not um, paying as good attention as we should because we're we're working and sometimes that happens and I apologize for not seeing you until now is what I'm trying to say is I she thought her chat her her my her thing in my mom's might not even be showing and that has been happening to people yeah it has been so i would never put it past youtube or google not to have it um okay sandra i will tell you that um that is in your google settings because kathy from is it kathy's world is that what her channel yeah. is yeah with having the same kind of problem she could be seen by certain channels but not by other channels it has to do with your google settings and i don't know exactly what it is but it is in your google settings not in ours or not in whoever can't see you but um in your google settings so um because the night that she got that fixed um her husband found something in her settings that was causing the problem yeah and i never she never did either she didn't elaborate on it or i didn't figure it out what she was talking about as mm -hmm. far as 
what it was or how to fix it. Yeah, it was it was something. But you know, it doesn't take much for a Google setting to get off either. You know, that it, it's true. And they, you know, they recently changed stuff again. Um, Jeff is all upset because they changed his Facebook and he can't make it go back. Okay. Okay. You all right? I stuck a little um, piece. Oh my of gosh! Do you know what time it is? It's four twenty-one, but we didn't start till one. Oh, that's why. That's why it got so late so fast. Yeah. Okay. And we can stop whenever you're ready. Well, I may just glue this page down and maybe we should just say we'll stop about 4.30. All righty. Will you, will you have your page finished about by then? Um. I'll have the pocket this finished. This probably won't be, but that's okay. Okay, that'll work. If I don't, if I don't get that done, I can do that when I make all my tags Thursday. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna that's do. That's all I've got left. Yep, that I'll have one page to glue down and my pockets on Thursday, or my pockets, but tags. Yeah. I'll tell you what; these things are hard to glue down. They they would have um, been a, a good thing to have uh, put through a a sticker. Oh like yeah, make stickers. Yeah, Zyron. Yeah. Is that what it is? Yeah, I think that's what she uses. Yeah. Or a spray adhesive. Mom has spray adhesive. Oh would, yeah, I even would've... have some spray adhesive. <laughs> Have you okay. used one of these in your book anywhere? Yeah, you um, just did. You just did on that on that silly napkin page you just made. Well, I just used it as a silhouette, though. I mean, I inked uh, or used it to, as a stencil. Or not mat, today. Or whatever. Not today on that on that page. Didn't you didn't you glue that one in? No, I'll show you. Okay. For some reason, I thought you glued it in. If I can find it. See? Okay. All right. For some reason, I was thinking you had glued it down. No. Now, um, did I Dollar use Tree has, this one here? Dollar, Dollar Tree has, um, oh, that one's pretty. Dollar Tree has spray adhesive. Well, yes, they, they have. Do. They have beacon spray adhesive, too, don't they? I think Is so. Is that what it was? Yeah, I think it. Yeah. Uh, well, actually, I've seen two different kinds, so I'm not sure. Okay. Um, but I think Beacon was one of them. I may have to. I may have to grab a little. I mean, it's not like something I would use all the time, but on these things, it probably would have worked really well. Oh, oh, I have to put this on this page. Oh, that. There you go. No I pocket. Have to. Yep. Mm -hmm. Then I just got to figure out what else I'm going to do. Okay, come on. I know you go on there. Okay. Um, there we go. Yeah, that has to go on that page. It definitely needed to be there. Okay. Yeah, it does. I need a piece of something plastic wax paper. Where's my wax paper? Oh. Hi, Lizzie. Hello. Hi, 
Hello, Miss Lizzie Brewer. We're glad you're here. You're lurking and drawing. Well, we're glad That's you let awesome. us know you were here. Yeah. I am very glad you were here. Hmm. I'm kind of thinking he's cute right there, but I need to cut it right at the top of his little pe little head, his little pointy head. <laughs> his little pointy head has to has to have just that right. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm gonna trim off a little bit down at his feet so that. I can not cut off his pointy head. <sighs> Teresa says you need a little fairy just peeking out from the center of that flower. That's a great idea. That's a great idea. Okay. I need. make another little notebook oh to put there with him make another little notebook out of him or to put with him to put with him she said oh, okay yeah i may have to make a notebook or two i i i think they're kind of cute so depending upon how much time i've got but I should have plenty of time to make little things like that and some tags Thursday. Okay. Yep. We're gonna. Oh, out of him, she says. Oh, out of him. See, I thought that maybe she was trying to say. Mm. Okay. Okay. Or have you already, well, you've already cut him at an angle, though. Yeah, but I'm thinking I'm going to just make my pocket at an angle, my notebook at an angle. Oh, that will be cute. Yep, yep, that will be cute. And he'll hang straight, but the top of it will be an angle. That will be fun. Okay. this Teresa says you done cut him now <laughs> yep I did I done did <laughs> this is gonna be a funny looking notebook though look at that Okay, see, I thought you were going to make it um, angled the same as him. Okay, turn your back piece over. Oh, you've already. I'm listening. Well, it's too late. I need now. to do it from a. Um, another piece of paper that's bigger so I can cut it to to match. Did I have no. One? Okay. Yeah, because yeah, you need you need the fold needs to match. Uh huh. Yeah. The yeah. fold needs to match. Uh -huh. The straight parts so. need to match, not the fold. You know what we're talking about. That's all that matters is that you know what we're talking about. Okay. I have one page left. One. Just one. Just one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now where's my water brush? Where I know it's here somewhere. I've got it out. Okay.
Let him be an angle on the paper straight. Yeah. I got it. I got it. Yeah. Never she fear. Knows. She knows what she's doing. <laughs> I don't, but she does. My fingers are all sticky today. Oh, it took me forever to figure out what that word was going to be. This is a pattern, but it, I couldn't figure out what it is. It's the sleeve. It's part H. It was the sleeve. <laughs> It makes like, you think it's backwards or something. Yeah, it's like, okay, what is this saying? Okay, so it's going to be like this. Mm-hmm. And it will fit right in like that. Can't see, but, you know, your page. Like is off. Yeah, like that. It's perfect. And then it'll fit like that. Yeah, that'll be cute. Okay, so we're going to glue this on and then make some papers to go inside it. There you go. <laughs> of course, you're going to have to have some funny papers. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Oh, what's the fun of doing it normal when you can do it more interesting? Teresa says perfect. There goes Jeffrey's phone again. <laughs> I don't know. His phone's been ringing a lot lately. Of course, for some unknown reason, they keep calling his phone from the eye doctor's office. Now, he's not the primary phone on our my account, so I have no idea why all the... Well, now they got your emergency contact mixed up. With yeah, mm-hmm. It's like, okay, so what good does a computer do if you guys cannot get the phone number straight? It's the input. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. Somebody boo booed. Yep. And not only that, this time on. That's right, Teresa. I, I've got plenty of scrap papers. <laughs> That's right. Um, because they're calling, no, it's, um, they, this is the pre calls, you know, the pre, uh, the, they, they don't usually call afterwards, not for my eyes, but, um, yesterday they called me to tell me how much it was going to cost me. Right. But last week when I had the same thing done. They did not call me to tell me how much it was going to cost me. So I'm thinking, well, do you suppose they're going to skip charging me for one of them? Ha, never. No, no. No, no. I know that that that's not going to happen. Okay. Okay. Papers, papers, papers. Some of the leaves you are making will look pretty in that, Lisa. In this? <laughs> yeah, Teresa. You knew that was a joke. Uh-huh. Yep. <laughs> it's like, mm -hmm. never going to happen. <laughs> Especially since what they did in the last two weeks is, ca is called surgery. So, um, and I had to go to the surgery center. And I'm like, uh-huh. Yeah. 
Alright. Alright. I don't know. I might need to sign this this page. I was she was Teresa was taking a drink of tea and I I made her choke on her tea. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Oh my goodness! Pulled some of the page off. Good thing I'm going to ink that in a little while. But what's another thing that's funny is okay, my paperwork all says that my my appointment tomorrow morning is for nine o'clock. I've got two different pieces of paper that say my appointment tomorrow morning is nine o'clock. They keep calling Jeff and telling him it's eight fifty-five. So it's like okay. Now, five minutes is not going to be a big deal. But the other thing is, is that I can guarantee you, <laughs> knowing this doctor, that my 8.55 appointment will be at 11 o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> now, I will ink that some more, but I can't ink it right this minute because of the um the glue I put on there so I'll have to ink it in a few minutes. Teresa says, okay, Lisa, your package is on its way. Male woman wow. just picked it up. Okay, something about make suggestions so Lisa will make the thingy that way I learned how to do things. Ah I see what your plan is. That's all right. That's all right. I love the look at that little book up there. That's so cute. That's so cute. Okay, what was I going to do now? I was going to do something. Oh, I need a couple more of these. And boy, have I made a big old mess. It might look just like this when we come back on Thursday, too. Okay. <laughs> Holly wants to know if there's a note with Teresa. <laughs> <They're packing. laughs> that was that was Audrey, Holly. <laughs> you may have to staple those and then glue them in. Just staple across the top of your papers and then just put a little bit of glue on the back of the staples and tuck it in your little notebook. Oh, I had I didn't even put any glue on the back of the staples. Oh, I'll probably staple it sideways, just like I did the other ones. The last one, okay. Yeah. Sandra, um, Lisa got these dies from um, the Craft Shack. I don't know what die it is. It's one that that Heather has at the Craft Shack. Um, Lisa, do you? I got have the die cuts. Yeah, she, Heather, she, cut she Heather cut them, and and she has them on her web shop, website in a package of stuff, and um, it shows on the website what they are. Lisa, do you have that link? I that, don't, but I can go get it. Okay, and can you put it in? Oh no, you can't put it in. No, I can't put it in. It's just craft K R A A F T K R A A F T. S H A A K craftshack.com. Okay, give me just a minute. Let me see if I can put it. I can put it in, I think. 
Okay, spell it for me again. K R A F F. K R A A F T. Oh. Two A's. Just a minute. I gotta be able to see. A F T. Shack. S H A. A K. Oh, no C. A K. No, no C. Craftshack dot com. Okay. That and should get go you to there. her kits page. Go to her kits page, okay. And um, that should get you there. Uh, they were all. Um, sent, Lisa sent me a whole package um, of wonderful things that she got from Heather. So. We used them in our tunnel book. And then I'm just now using another piece in my book. There's another batch of these. Okay. And I just stapled these. On my other notebooks, I stapled them. With the staples going sideways, um, because that way that <laughs> I can do it across there, yeah. Yeah. Now I'm using these tiny little staples, and so it doesn't really impede things very much. Right. If you were using big ones, it would. You're welcome, Sandra. Ta-da! Ta -da. There we go. Isn't that cute? Okay, now I need to put this in there. But I want to think about a fairy peeking out. Yeah, because I think that's a cute idea. It is a very cute idea. So I need to look around and find one that I can like cut and slide in there before I glue that down. Be one that's easy to see. She's, I don't think she would show up. Teresa well. says, just make a small slit in the center of the flower and put it in that way i think she glued the flower down already though didn't you no i haven't that's why i haven't glued it down yet because i'm going to okay. do exactly that uh-huh exactly that we think alike Okay, let's see if my page is dry enough I can work on it. No, I'm not going to be able to finish that because I got it too sticky with glue. That's when you say, oh, bother. Oh, bother. I'm going to keep this with all of my other fairy stuff to use just as a, a stencil. I think that's really cute. Yeah, we'll make it look like it's actually in the flower. You're right, Teresa. Excuse me, guys. Got up too early this morning, I guess. Oh, that's the wrong place for that. That doesn't go in there. Lisa's sitting over there being very, oh, she's being quiet because her thing is muted. Ha, I was trying to figure out how she got so quiet. Sorry, 
I coughed and so I muted it and then I forgot. Well, that's fine. I I just all of a sudden you were so quiet and I'm thinking, how can I not hear anything from Lisa? And then I look up and it's it's muted and I'm going, well, that's, that's why. why. That is why. Yeah. Okay, so those are to put on there. And put this back in here to use later. I have all of these. That one is just sticking out some things here. So yeah. And I have these. These little sayings. Ah, I got more stuff to go back in that box. Okay. Now then, let's cut a little slit here and see what we can um, make it do, huh? Yeah. Who's that little ruler? And ruler I was looking for I can't find it I have one of those and I, I don't I'm not finding it so I don't know if I maybe left it in the camper I didn't think it was out of the box that I had it in so and that box is sitting in here so I don't know what How about like that oh that is cute oh that's adorable okay that is absolutely adorable. Okay. So I need to ink it, of course. Of course. Of course. Certainly wouldn't want to not ink it. No, we wouldn't. I'm going to have a mystery box full of stuff just in these envelopes. <laughs> yeah Maria um, from Maria's Miscellany mm -hmm. she uh, commented on my mystery box and she said I don't I probably have a mystery box somewhere but I know I have a bunch of mystery two gallon two gallon baggies <laughs> said, well that'll work <laughs> that'll work uh huh yeah well I was exceptionally lazy last night and I did not do anything but watch you. Of course, then I got called away three or four times. So, you know, it was it was a good thing I hadn't decided to try to work because I wouldn't have gotten anything done anyways. Now ink it and set it. That's what Teresa is saying. Now ink it and set it. Yeah, well, I've already inked the flower and I just inked her. So we're on our way. We're on our way. Still too sticky. I I got too much glue on that page, so I can't finish it. Oh well, I'll get it finished eventually. Like maybe in an hour or two after dinner. <laughs> well, I put the I'll put the finished page in the in the picture though. There we go. Well, I'm sorry. I may just stay late because oh, I decided to go ahead and do this. We're not that late. 
Okay. That's not a big deal. I just, I, I can't continue with my page, so I just picked up a little bit because, you know, might need to do something here tomorrow. Who knows? Yeah. It'll all depend on how much to, how long it takes at the doctor's office in the morning. Besides, you had to finish that with that page. That is just perfect. Now, that was a card, right? No, this was wallpaper. That was wallpaper. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, and I know you've been trying to use that page all along. I've been, I've been trying to use this flower several times. I've tried to use this flower. It's funny. So, it, it's perfect on that page. It is. It is perfect. And does that mean and you thank have Thank you, Teresa, for the uh, very uh, peeking out idea. Does that finish all your pages? It does. Well, and I have this one to all my pages. I, I have all the parts and pieces. I just have to ink this one and glue them down. And I'll probably do that when it gets dry this later on this evening. Um, and then I just have tags and, and maybe some little notepads to make, which would be fun. I'm just, I'm in love with this book. This book is just gorgeous. I just, I'm, 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 you know, so proud of myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, me too, but it's like, okay. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Well, and see, my stuff. It's wider my, at the front than it is on the top. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think oh, it literally yeah. is. Let me measure it. Well, and mine this doesn't is, have, mine doesn't have the other books in it. This is seven inches. And I'm, and if I hold it really pushed, I can make it down to six. But if I don't, it's like eight. Okay, so so my tunnel book and, and my, there's a bunch of stuff not in it yet. Yeah. And it's four inches. Well, it's going to be oh. about eight inches when you put your yeah. stuff in it. Well, when I put my stuff in it, it's going to be eight inches. Oh, I better open that back up because that, so, uh huh, yeah. it stuck right together. So... Yeah, the gator, that poor gator, he just, he loses it every time we make a book. I do not know how we can not make, how we have to, what we have to do to make a book that's not gator mouth. I don't know. But the one thing we don't do is um, add a bunch of stuff to it. <laughs> yeah. So there's that. Well, page. I think any time, that turned out gorgeous. Anytime you alter a book, it seems like they grow like that. Now, yeah, they do. They do. Um, Even if you take out a million pages. Yeah. The um, chunky books that we have made, the crispy, crunchy books. Yeah. Because we bind them after the fact, they don't seem to do that. That's true. That's true. So, I'm glad it turned out just the way you saw it in your mind, Teresa. That's nice when that happens. Yeah. So you will have to make an ex expandable spine there we go maybe that's what we need to try to do a, a book that has an expandable spine interesting idea but then it would um well that's what the tunnel book is isn't it <laughs> kind of yeah oh i just did it again i just closed that page why do i keep doing that it's sticky and i keep closing it yeah we could do it something like that but I don't know that it wouldn't still gator mouth because the back might not expand the same way the front expands. You just have to, the only way to, to keep this from happening is to limit what you put in it. That's right. Right. Me, and I don't I don't want to do that. I, I that would that would mean limitations and I don't like limitations. Yeah. If we had one of these that had a whole bunch of these. Mm-hmm. You could make an expandable spine out of that. Well, you know what we could do is we could put a bunch of those together. That's true. I wonder if I have any of those. I don't know if I have any of those. You know, I might have something that's similar, but not the same. Yeah. Well, I got but, these at thrift store for 50 cents each. Yeah. Um, 
and I think I have I think I have something like that I'll have to look because that would be fun to do something with um yes Teresa the embellishments are what make it yes Teresa and if I put some then I could open it back up to that page but I'm just going to leave it open for right now and I think the embellishments and you know even adding these die cuts to the page adds thickness to the page yeah yeah so and every time you do one of these pockets that adds thickness to the page even though and then I you fill up the pocket and then <laughs> right so yeah hi T and, hi T a fluffy book is a happy book that's true well these <laughs> are very happy books these are absolutely ecstatic books <laughs> Oh, it's so funny. It just sits here and it looks like like you should be able to file stuff in it. <laughs> well, you know, you can fold a book so it turns into like a, it looks like a Rolodex and then you do stuff, yeah. stuff in it. Yeah. And I, think, I, 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 think think we to, I think we ought to do one of those books. It works okay. real well with a Reader's Digest condensed book. Well, maybe we can do that after we do our um, napkin, napkin journal. book. Okay. All right. I mean, it's boring as heck to do it. <laughs> but filling it up will be fun. Right. Maybe what we could do is do a few, few pages each time and do a few things to fill it up. Yeah. Each time. I think because, that would be good. Yeah. So is anybody, okay. else, anybody else out there interested in doing one of those kinds of books? Let us know. If y'all aren't interested in it, we won't do it. But if you're interested, then. I mean, you don't have to do it. If you're just interested in watching, that's fine. But yeah. Anyways, it's almost five o'clock. And so I probably better go so that my hubby can watch his news. Yeah. I don't know why. But <laughs> anyways, guys, we're going to say bye. We will talk to you Thursday. We will be making tags yes okay yep, bye guys tags. and then next tuesday we're okay, going to decorate our cover and close it somehow teresa said something about is that napkins that she wrote uh oh, napkins oh. that's next Let me see. the napkin book is next we will talk yes, about the napkin that journals more. next yeah we'll talk about that more on thursday guys okay that's what we're going to do in july yeah Bye-bye, okay. all. Bye, everybody.